Hey guys, it's Chris from Manola Gay, and it's time for Vulcan Debrief Live. Welcome to the most interactive airsoft show on the interwebs. It's the Falcon Debrief Airsoft Live Show. Each and every episode is sponsored by the fine folks at Enola Gay. Also, don't forget to sign up for the largest growing airsoft community in the world known as the Falcon Alliance. You can link up with other Alliance members throughout your region on our Facebook groups by just searching the Falcon Alliance. We also offer Alliance sponsorships for qualified airsoft teams. And the Falcon Debrief also shares local and national airsoft events so you don't miss out what's going on in your region. We also give away some sweet products from time to time, so the more you interact, the greater the chance you could win. And we work hard to bring you new and exciting special guests during each episode. You can also find us at many airsoft events throughout the world. And if you miss any of our live casts, you can always catch the rewind on our YouTube channel or SoundCloud. So sit back and get ready for your Falcon Debrief. Warning, the following video contains strong language which may be offensive to some viewers and or inappropriate for immature airsoft players. The content within this video is intended for mature audiences with common sense only. Hey everybody, welcome to the Falcon Debrief Airsoft Live Show, episode number 100! We are at the Century Mark fan base. I am Peltas, Lord Fuzzy Face of the BB Shire in a very special district. We're going to say district of the Shire right now? Yeah. Or are we... Shallow? Shallow? The shallow district of the yes. Shire. Yeah. Shallow, <laughs> shallow end, we're in the shallow end of the pool right now. And... <laughs> Kaiju here, the Supreme Commander of the Falcon Alliance, and we would not be here for episode 100 mm -hmm. if it wasn't for all of you viewers um, that just keep us going each and every the week. five of you that watch the show, thank yes. you so much. We really appreciate it. <laughs> so tag your friends, get your men here. We're going to have a great time because uh, we are broadcasting from... Oh, right here. What does that logo look, look, look like? The Evic Outpost. It's not even open yet. In, they let us in here just to do a show. Not in even Ontario, open. California, it is open. Is it open? It is open. I was trying to like say it's just open for us, like it's super secret. No, it's not working. No, no it's open. There's people here in California in the chat that have been here before. Oh, okay. Well, they're calling so. us live. <laughs> <laughs> so, we are here at the Evic Outpost in Ontario, California. Not Ontario, Canada? Oh. Are we in the wrong one? Are we supposed to be in Canada right now? I didn't get a passport. Do you need a passport to go to Canada? I thought you just I don't know. drive over the Let's border. I'm going to tag Robo um, and <laughs> ask him. Our if, resident Canadian if, expert if, on the show. If he, if, Friend of the show. If we need a passport to go to Canada. <laughs> I have no idea. Or do you just drive over? Like, do we just own Canada? I don't know how that works. Yeah. Like, I don't, I don't get the relationship. Uh, Carl, we have not seen Mason. Not we, yet. We're assuming we'll see him tomorrow when we go to the showroom, but I'll make sure that uh, Give him a high five. you said hi. High five. So tag your friends. It's really easy, really fun. Let's see. Oh, I'm going to tag JP. Ooh. Oh, and I got to tag Michaela. Michaela. Yeah, definitely Michaela. Because they're out here this weekend. They're here for a shot show. Who else? Uh, I think Silva. Uh, Silva's here. Also, uh, and I think Cody's with him too, if I saw that right. The oh, whole, oh, that's right. The Cody Crawford. MS crew is out Cody here. Crawford. Doing stuff. Actually, out here. I know. I mean, we ran into people in the in the hotel lobby. We ran into we people did. like at lunch. We ran into people at. I mean, honestly, if you just come to the general LA area right now, like everybody airsoft cool is wandering around this area right yep. now. You could just run into them anywhere. It's Starbucks, whatever. You know, it's kind of cool. And our normal one of our traditions, the overachiever of the night. I gotta give the shout out, staff. Chris Stafford from the Rockies region. The first one to post in the chat after we went live, you get 50 exposure bucks. You do 50. Five, 50 zero. exposure oh, wait, bucks. Wait, five, zero. Is it this way or this way? Which, which is the right <laughs> way? I, I can't remember. Is it like, okay. Oh, yeah. I don't know. He knows. Don't worry. Staff, I'll, I'll see you next weekend. <laughs> <laughs> I'll bring you something. Don't worry about it, man. Oh, absolutely. Oh, I'm excited, man. I'm really pumped. I mean, like, this is a special location. Whoa. Oops, sorry about that. Special location. Did we talk about the, the awesome special guests we're going to have on today? Did well, we, we first, first we got to tell them about the hotline. Oh, do we have a hotline issue? We do have a hotline. We have a hotline. Oh, is it right here now? Is it? Is yep, it pop it's up, up there. It popped up. Did I get it right this time? You I did. Think, I think. Oh, oh, I'm on it. Good job. I'm getting better at this. I'm, I'm a big boy now. So you can actually uh, call us on our hotline if you would like to see us 
at a location, like a certain person you want to interview, or you want to promote your event or Birthday your parties, field. Bar mitzvahs, all of yeah, them. Yeah, it's real it. easy. It's cool. So check this out. We have we have a voicemail. You can leave a voicemail. So check this We're out. Not We're not going to answer the voicemail, but we'll listen to it later. Yes. Because it's voicemail, not an actual phone. So here we go. Let's see if it goes through. I got to pretend like I have my earbud in. No, it's not going through. It's not going through? What happened? I don't know. What? Do we have an intern here helping us out? Or can I fire someone for this? Taco. 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 You're gone. Dude. Out. Gone. I mean, I, I know you work for Evic, but you're supposed to be helping Pink us out. Pink slip. Parking lot, you oh my gone. Gosh. See you, man. You're out. Oh my goodness. I know that was the quickest firing of an intern I think we've ever had. No, actually, no. Who's the quickest intern firing? It was literally the time where we went live and then they accidentally hit the stop stream button like within five seconds. So the fi five seconds is, I'm going to fire one before five seconds. <laughs> I'm going to beat this record because if I don't hold every record on this show, I'm, I'm just, it's, it's going to be an issue. I'm going to pitch right? a hissy fit. I mean, I'm a prima donna. What can I say? Exactly. So <laughs> we cannot forget. Okay. We absolutely cannot forget. So last last time we went live. Oh, this crap. Oh, I know, right? Oh, moose. The loadout battle. Moose. The loadout oh. battle. <laughs> Corey better take this guy down. That's all so, <laughs> so this week's. So, yeah. Tactical Moose 96 took down Aquaman Party uh, the last time. So the. This week's loadout battle right here. is between Tactical Moose 96 and Zero Shot Airsoft. So you go ahead and... That's, that's like yours. some Wisconsin on Wisconsin violence, isn't it? I know, right? I know, that's local, that's local carnage. So here we go. Tactical Moose.96. You guys know this. Dylan Frederick, Marine Recon Sniper Kit with a Haley Micro Rig, Crygen 2, M81 Pants, Hope made Gilly Top draped down behind his legs. Ooh, I can I can really like kind of act this out. It's nice not having the table. Primary is an Aeris Amoeba Striker AS1. Make sure I don't have to read that again. But read this other one because I, I don't have to, to read this pull, one. I have to put the poll question. Oh, okay, in there. I'm reading the next guy. See, I do get to read something else. See? <laughs> Big day for me. All right, zero shot airsoft in real life. Corey Saltsider of Nemesis Milsim and Chrono Fame. This is a loose SAS impression loadout. It's a Cry AC uniform with a Mitch 2002 and a Paraclete RAV. For weapons, he runs a Fatco Mark 18. Little shout out to Ryan. And an RWA 1911 pistol. He is who you're voting for. They no one can vote for Dylan. They don't see you right now. They can't see me? Oh, they see you right now. They see me now. See, I threw so. it. See, I threw it. It's on the floor. It's Make gone. sure you vote for the best loadout. Two Midwest region. How many times can they vote? Can they vote more than once? No, once it registers your vote, you're done. Oh, that's unfortunate. Yeah, we so, should do some ballot box stuffing next. So time. you gotta, you gotta, you gotta vote because if uh, you don't, your voice will not hurt. It's your right as an American to vote for loadout battle. It's I your know, right? duty. It's your privilege as an American citizen. Do it. Ooh, okay. Wow. What what, what happened? I, I'm not gonna say right now. Oh, the voting has commenced. Oh, there is the voting has commenced. Corey, you should be worried. It's oh, safe. Corey's in here. So Corey, I know Corey, Corey voted. Should be worried. I know Corey voted. So Vote this, extra times. I mean, Corey is behind right can now. Can Corey topple the five-time winner of the loadout battle right now? Well, here, you know, I did the math the other day, mm -hmm. and it looks like if Corey wins today, and wins till the end of the year, we could actually have a loadout battle off to decide the winner because that would a make load them, off a load off a load off a load out off a, lo a load off. I don't know. <laughs> Well, we'll talk to the marketing team. Like we, I gotta, I, we gotta kick it back to the writers, get some copy on that. It's we're spitballing right now. It's, you know, I know, they, right? they know that we're just just throwing it off the wall. And if we hit fifty live viewers today, mm -hmm. Evic patch swag bag, <gasps> like a whole bag of swag, a whole bag of patches, like like a this big bag. Yeah, but we gotta get to fifty. We gotta and, get to 50. and we've only gotten up to nineteen so far. Yeah, so, so we gotta get twenty tag more friends, people. Tag your family share. everywhere you Make can. Make new friends and tag them. Yes, just share, share, share. So it's cool, and don't forget right there. Put it up there for you one more time. The loadout battle. You got tactical moose on the right and zero shot airsoft on the left. Don't worry about the guy on the right. Just the guy on the left. Vote for him. Keep yeah. it moving. Do the do the SAS loadout. Yeah, SAS. It, don't, don't worry about the guy on the right. <laughs> SAS is much cooler. All right, we're gonna cut to a quick uh, commercial break. Is oh wait, the, no. We gotta thank our sponsors. 
Do we have sponsors? We have sponsors. We have sponsors. Someone we sponsors do. this show? Exactly. I'm shocked. I mean, how did you convince them to do that? I know, right? So first up, we got the uh, the Valken Alliance. It's a, just a, it's it's multi-level marketing. Is that a term we're using now? Pyramid scheme. Pyramid scheme? No, pyramid, pyramid schemes scheme. are legal, but multi-level marketing is legal. So I think we have to, for legal But purposes. there's no paper trail, so they can't prove it. Oh, see? <laughs> Head on over to valkenalliance.com, sign up. We're just trying to connect folks it takes uh, in your two local region. two minutes. I know. You can find everybody in your local area, local games, big games, small games. You want to swap some stuff. You want. And after to, they sign up, where do they go? Oh, they uh, go back to Facebook. Do they, do they have to go back to Facebook? Yeah, because you got to look up your local region. Oh, and we're right. featuring today the what's Pacific the, region. Which is the, the most Pacific numerous region? region? It might oh be my goodness! A quantity over quality thing. Oh my goodness! And okay, I'm still part we're of here lot. at a special event meet and greet, and a good friend of mine just walked up. Come here. Uh-oh. I mean, you Is never know who's going to show up. First video bomb. First video bomb. What's right up? Right What's up? In the middle. This, this is, right. this we, is we have to encompass Charlie your love. What's Suarez. up, guys? How's it going? Did I say it right, Suarez? Yeah, yeah. From G&G Armament right here in California. What's up, guys? So if you we had to, get to look up now. Because this Saturday <laughs> is Airsoft Con. Indeed. Over at the Evic Showroom, they're going to have a booth set up. We it's are. the are biggest. You guys are doing a shooting thing too, right? Correct. We're going to have a 5x5 five five, uh, shooting competition. So if you think you're the fastest, swing on by because the fastest time we'll get an ARP9 Amber. So Is there a prize? Yeah, the ARP9. Do so you actually have to hit the targets, or it's just the fastest throw? The, well, the fastest, yeah. Because <laughs> you mean, got, you got to, it's all about the yeah, details, I mean, man. You can have you know a 40 mic and get all the targets. Because so, honestly, really... if you just tell me to go fast, I'm just going to run. I'm good. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. So, yeah. Well, thanks for having me. We'll, we'll see you, see you, guys. We'll see you yeah. Saturday. See you always, always. All right. It's cool. Tag your friends. There's going to be a lot of people here. I mean, there's I, only I people saw... walking through the door. There's, there's... I'm, I'm not going to name drop. But I am looking. Tim at, Sergeant from Cry- from. Oh Chris come on! I'm I'm looking at all kinds of cool faces. I'm trying to tease it just a little. Jonathan bit. Jonathan Higgs, Airsoftology. No, no, he's not. Oh, 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 oh come on in! Got, come on in! Come on in! Come on in! Oh my goodness! Oh, we are live. We're never going to get to our guests oh, at this good, point. Good, 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 good. Oh, how's it going, man? Hey, nice to meet you. So, it's Mr. Frogling yes. from Hi. APS. Right here, right here. Hong Kong. Right here. Hong Kong. See, the flag right there. I had to give him a hard time. Yeah. He's Hong got the Hong Kong flag. Yes. So, um, also Both makes... Both islands in the Pacific. It's okay. ton of airsoft guns. Um, what I really like is the colored guns that you're doing. Oh, thank you. Uh, Especially for the red color. Oh, oh, is, yeah. oh, hold on, right here. No, oh, no, not that one. Oh, that one. No, but it's oh, it's zi- it's zip tied. It's the same. It's the same. Oh, is it? It's the same oh, okay. Guy. Yeah, it's not zip tied. Oh, okay. I was gonna do we do a little show and tell. Oh, look at oh, look at that. that. That's fun. Fire bomb. <laughs> That's, oh, that's pretty sexy. That's beautiful. Woodcock, it's skeletonized. Your favorite. They're actually naming this the Woodcock. <laughs> it's actually the new name for the model. Yeah, very cool. Or fun by the CNC. And then the ping ping is very beautiful, right? It is. I, I'm partial to the blue. I like the blue. We're both, see, blue, like blue. blue is actually the best color because it's what the cords come in. So, you know, if you don't know. You're from USA, you know the blue. I'm from China. I live in France. No, that's true. <laughs> that's true. And, and, and you guys, uh, you're going to be at Airsoft Con on Saturday? Uh, no, be glad. We'll give you tonight. You're leaving oh. tonight? Yeah. Oh, okay. So, we're going to have to get some drinks and some food with you. Thank you, man. After this, so thank you. Well, thank you very much. There's a, there's, you know, there's a bar next door to this thing. Yes, As there part is. of this place, there is a it's called bar. the Arsenal. It's so this is the, the bunker. Okay, and then thank the Arsenal. Much. Oh, sorry. Thank you very much. Nice to see you. You, you too. Dude, so this is ridiculous. Oh I, my gosh, I'm crazy. starstruck right now. I'm, I know, right? It, it isn't. It, this is ridiculous because <laughs> I would never think that I could be someplace doing the show and have the guy who makes the gun right? hand it to him from behind me right? out of nowhere and have him show it to me. How cool Steve is that? Tom. Uh, what trouble is com- he causing now? From Dark Horse 6 Milsim is complaining because the Yankees are playing the American Division playoff against Houston right, right now. So here's and he's trying I- to watch both. Steve. Th- the Yankees are going to win. It's only Steve, game four. Houston's going to lose. It's only game four. The okay. Bronx Bombers will come through with they this. They will. Have it faith. doesn't matter. Texas does not Ooh. win shit. Shelly from Stampede Airsoft is watching us. Hey, Shelly. Greg, Greg going to meet you because Greg he left brothers. me behind. Greg brother. Hey, Greg, I have a bone to pick with you. Why? You told John not to bring the bag. What bag. We wanted to see what was in the bag. What's in the bag? Do we know? I was going to just gonna take the bag and examine it. I know, right? I was going to like CSI. Greg Brothers told John, our special guest, not to bring the bag. I was going to do CSI Ontario. <laughs> CSI Ontario. We'd have the, we had music. We had graphics. I was going to have the, yeah, at the end of it and everything. But you know what? You ruined that. Oh, you, Greg. man. All right. Oh. We're going to cut to a quick commercial break, and we're going to come back. 
uh, with our special guest John Liu from is he, is Operation like, Lion Claws. Is he important, or, or is he like, like? Should we care about that? Is there? Is he like a big deal? He's been around a long. Has he time. been around a long time? Is he, would we? I would He's, call him like the o, like an OG of Milson. I I mean, eighteen years of producing scenario events continuously. Continuously, I mean, he's probably the longest running. How long have you been playing producer? Lion Claws? Since two thousand four. So fifteen of those eighteen years. Deep history, deep yeah. guys. All right. So we're gonna cut to a quick commercial break. Little little bacon in the mouth commercial. Or this might be a BB. I don't know. I, I, he doesn't tell me anymore. <laughs> I know. I'm out I never of say. All right. Let's guess. We'll be so right back chat. after this quick commercial. we got to get to 50. I want to give away some Evic patches. Seriously. I'll just take stuff Evic off the patches. wall and mail it to you right now. I don't care. No, not this wall. Not this wall. It's another wall. It's another wall. It's another wall. Not this wall. No. Oh, my goodness. Come here. Come here. Come here. Before we cut to commercial. Come here. Come here. Come here. Okay. See, we got we're, all kinds of people here. We're never getting to commercial. We're never getting to commercial. Right here. Right, right. No, no, you're right. in the middle. You've got to be in the circle. In the circle, it's important. Right. Mr. Alan Lau from Crytek. Chris, USA. I'm sorry. Ooh, Chris, sorry. I have to. Ooh. Chris, USA. I'm sorry. You didn't have the Chris. I'm sorry. <laughs> My bad. You can fly. Do, I got your dinner. That's what, do, do they make they, they make something cool, don't they? That everybody they make a lot of things hands, cool. Like a weird gun that like goes sideways and has a recoil thing or something. It's it's, it's really popular. I can't think of the name right now. It's, it's, it's something cool. Though. It's something cool. So, um, <laughs> big fan of tank video game. Uh, yes. World of, is it World of Tanks? World of Tanks. Are you yes. World, World of Tanks, of tanks guy? He is. I'm a World of Warships guy. Really? Oh, yes. Oh, hey, 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 hey. <laughs> See? He's playing with Ninja. So, uh, Chris has a booth this weekend? At uh, yes, we do. We do. So, anything cool? Everything's we'll see cool. Tomorrow. We'll see tomorrow. We'll see tomorrow. So, we're going to set up tomorrow. Um, we're actually going to have Tim Sargent from Chris USA. Yes. Is he more important than Tim Corporal? Or Tim Private? <laughs> no. Okay. He's more important than, than <laughs> Tim Selby. Ooh, there we go. We're throwing a little shade on it. <laughs> a little shade on Timmy from Red Wolf. So if you didn't know, um, on Saturday, we're going to go live every hour on the hour from Airsoft Con, and we're going to debut some new products from folks. Tim Sargent from Chris is going to come and show us some cool stuff. So you got to tune in tomorrow. So Might be the coolest but, stuff. I don't know. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank you. We'll see you in a bit. We'll see you in a bit. We'll, we'll join you in the right? libations. Oh, so yeah. you got to go this way. <laughs> That's the way out. <laughs> so, our, our intro will show you right to the green room. we got right. snacks and stuff back there. You'll enjoy it. <laughs> all right. Can oh, we go to commercial now? Doug, Doug Smith, he's late, but he's here. Can we go to commercial? Is oh, Doug commercial Smith, because Doug Smith's at Starburst. Is he? He's traveling to Starburst, too. He's, he made a poor decision, I think, honestly. Oh, this Greg Brother weird. says, John is just a dude with no bag. He's just... So he's, he's just John. He's not John right back. All right. Okay. We're going to cut to a quick commercial break. We'll be right back. Don't go anywhere. Tag your friends. Share the show. we got to get to 50. I want to give away some patches. Five, zero. <laughs> I need to give stuff away. It makes me feel good. All right. We'll be right back. Hi, this is Virgil from Historic Blast Camp Paintball and Airsoft, and you're watching the Valken Debrief. Be sure to check out the Valken Tactical Kilo Gloves. Each glove is equipped with stretch mesh fabric and Velcro wrist closures. They come with silicone grips in those high contact areas and are touch screen friendly. These gloves are ultra lightweight and have soft gel padded knuckles to protect your hands against BB strikes. So no matter what kind of playing conditions you encounter, the Valken Tactical Kilo Gloves are the right fit for you. And we are back to the Falcon Debrief Airsoft live show episode number... 100, Century Mark, special day, special location, and we're actually about to meet a special guest. We are? We, I think so. Wait, I had to cue the music. Did, did it cue? I cued the music, Ride of the Valkyries. So, please welcome our special guest... The legendary. Legendary. The, the one. The myth. The only. The man. The myth. The legend. John Mr. John Lou. Lou. Welcome to the show. <laughs> Look at that. Look at that. Production value. Production value. Dude, sneaking around like yep. a Vietnam tunnel rat. You never know. You didn't see him because he was camouflaged right now. A lot of people know that. That's How's it right. going, brother? Thank you so much for being on the show, Good to see dude. You. So actually, this is our only our second time meeting because I got to meet John Liu for the first time at my first Iron... Ugh. Lion Claws. Op Irene. Also the last Op Irene. So if you want to go, sorry. You shit out a lot. <laughs> I got to go and you didn't, so take take that. But 
I have to say, I enjoyed the hell out of that weekend, man. That was a ton of fun. Thank you so much for having us. And I need to thank you because your cooking was my highlight of the weekend. Was it really? Oh, yes. The, the Oaky Sliders. <laughs> okay. And it's I, not because it's Oklahoma. I just want to take a moment because if you Okinawa. follow John Liu on Instagram or Facebook, you would see the kind of food he's used to. Food. That is high praise. He is a foodie. <laughs> I mean, your wife is a hell of a cook. I saw some crazy stuff coming out there. She doesn't do it very often, but, but when from she time to time, she'd be like, Hey, I want to make this tonight. <laughs> I'll be like, absolutely, honey. I will eat anything you make. Yes. Please send some my way. Anything, Ooh, anything you got. Freddie Flux from Veterans for Airsoft <laughs> hey, is watching. Freddie, how's Starburst going? Are you guys there yet? I think I they're all saying they're flying out tomorrow. Oh, tomorrow. So, okay. real quick, if you just joined us, don't forget to vote for the, the guy loadout on the battle. Left. Vote for the guy. Actually, on the left. it's like one percent difference right now. Is it really? Is One percent difference. It's so like really close. What's your opinion on this, John? Who's uh, which, which one's your the, kind of the sniper favorite? loadout or the SAS impressionist? Yeah, you know, I think you should vote for both. What? You can't whoa, vote. Whoa, yes. whoa, whoa, is, whoa, whoa. You should vote for both. How are they going to vote for both? They can, once they pick one, the, you know. I mean, it's too if, easy to pick one. It's just too easy. What if you have a secret it's, Facebook account? Oh. Vote if you have multiple <laughs> Facebook <laughs> Should I add? Should I add John Lewis as the number three choice? Can we do that? Is that a possibility? I don't know. Yeah. I'm afraid I might screw it up. But actually, you know, here's the thing: we have next week's challenger already right here, and he can sit. He can like sell his point in case. I got grenades. He's got grenades. He's got, is there actually water in there? Oh, he's got a gun. Yes. Driving around in California with grenades. <laughs> with grenades. Not in, in, not in a metal case, just sitting, sitting in the back. He's got the like, car just hanging down. <laughs> Huge cojones. I'm like, why am You are not leaving the house, Chris. <laughs> You will change when you he's get there. He's a liar. He showed up just like this. He was driving down oh, the road, looking like he's coming. I mean, is this an Arvin, or are we? is this like a... This is a uh, civil defense force. Ooh. So this will be the irregular um, mountain people or, uh, like, people in the highlands. The, the, the special yards. forces will work with the them. The Kind of like the modern yards oh, very good. without a loincloth. But, you know, the, the, the modern ones will get yeah. all dressed up. That's why this is is they go by, they couldn't understand the American unit uh, destinations that are used collars. Oh, so it's so their version of a patch. Correct. Cool. Correct. So, so we got a couple uh, comments in the chat. Doug Smith says, Peltest, you're cooking at La Contra next weekend, right? What? I got volunteered to cook? He did. I yes, mean, like, did. what do we want? I mean, yes, are we yeah. thinking, like, meat and potatoes? You guys want something special? I mean, to be fair, that last meal was kind of on the fly, just wandering in the grocery store. <laughs> I mean, I, if you give me some planning and a budget, I can do some good stuff. I'm just saying. And you John, have to use the cocktail steak. Ooh. Gunny <laughs> says, hello, John Lou. Yes, Gunny. James Collier. <laughs> James Collier? Yes, From Gunny. 265. Yes, back east. Missed you guys. Oh, you're oh, Steve Tom just called you the Asian crocodile Dundee. <laughs> <laughs> I'll take that any day. Dust on a knife. Little hashtag there. Let's start that hashtag, Asian crocodile Dundee. We, we just had Kurt Corpy from High Ground Airsoft, one of the other eBay outposts, join us. Um, Kurt says, you choose the same time as the Astros game. She's well, obviously you're whoa, here, whoa, Kurt, whoa, whoa, whoa. and it's more important. <laughs> First of all, I'm going to say this right here. We're on every Thursday at 8 o'clock Eastern. 5 p.m. Pacific. Pacific, and then in the middle ground, you're somewhere in the middle there. But every week we're here, the game is not. So I would like to just point out it's the only game, game is four. intrusing There's on There's still going to be another game, right? There's seven games. It's a seven-game well, series. Yeah, because Astros are up 2-1 to one to the Yankees. Yeah, but they're just setting them up. Yankees are just resting right now. Bats are coming out. Yeah. It's going to be good. It's going to be so. good. If you can't tell, I'm a Yankee And the baseball fan, game is going to last much longer. So. If all else failed, you rule for Dallas Cowboy cheerleaders. And here's actually what I tell you: I tell the fan base to do. Watch the game. Listen to us. There's nothing to listen exactly. to when you're watching. Exactly. Multitask. You can watch Multitask. the game on the TV. You can put your phone down. Just listen and to what's going on. And you can actually be entertained by, by this group right <laughs> I know, here. right? That's all I'm saying. So, um, so we're going to be asking. You're going to get to know... John Liu at a different level. Maybe too much about so that. One, one so, <laughs> one of our... Uh, Good friends, the Gorilla Airsoft podcast, had John on their show about a month ago. About yes, yeah. So if you never checked out Gorilla Airsoft podcast, they rock. Just look them up. They're like on two hundred and ninety thousand episodes. Two hundred twelve. Like <laughs> oh look, it's Maria. Who wants to see Maria on television? Oh, come on in. Come on in. Come, come on, on in. So Maria is like <laughs> the head woman in charge around here. 
She <laughs> number <laughs> number two to no. H W I C. <laughs> She's like going like this on the other side of the camera. Okay, you're so stuck. you're too close. <laughs> so, if you got any questions for John, put, put them in the chat. chat or you know, go check out Gorilla Airsoft podcast. You leave a they talk man. a lot Anything about um, lion claws, uh, what they're drinking. Um, <laughs> And they find out what's in the bag uh, yeah, in, that bag. Girl, in, in that podcast. Has our coffee shown up yet? Like coffee, the coffee was no, started supposed like to be they, shorter, they said our intern actually, at the bar. Oh, we have to go get it. To... They brought it all to the bar. Oh, our intern oh, absolutely should be fired. Oh, Is that your? We already fired her intern. <laughs> Did you put it in order? I don't know. I was Did just. You, I was. Just I put it in the uh, just yeah. Called drip, <laughs> so, we, so we gotta go. Yes. One of us has got to go get it. I'll be good. I mean, okay. if we're picking the All least right. important, I mean, I'll be so back in a second. Gonna... We'll be right back. Oh, it's 1 a.m. Central European time. Okay. <laughs> oh, wow. Ethan Vaughn, hunting suck today. Oh, my goodness. Oh, wow. Uh, J.D. Graham says, John Liu, my boy, what's up from Oregon? <laughs> yes. Mitch Delzer is watching. Uh, just keep the questions coming. So we're going to start um, with our first question, uh, warming up. So, John, tell everybody a quick background uh, you know, of your youth and how you came, how you came to this country. <laughs> Can you understand the words coming out of my mouth? <laughs> so, oh my God. Yes, I was actually born in Taiwan, um, AKA the Republic of China. And um, 1979, 78, when United States, and this is perfect timing for this story, when United States recognized Communist China as the only legitimate China, because it's a bigger piece of the pie. And its World War II ally, Taiwan, was much smaller. So U.S. signed the official agreement with China, recognizing it. So the entire United States uh, armed forces had to withdraw from Taiwan. My mother at the time was working for U.S. Air Force. So we were given the opportunity Thank you very much. No worries. To uh, Thanks, move Taco. to... Thank you, Taco. You're the man. Still we were given best, the best opportunity to uh, move to the um, United States, and we uh, went to Hawaii, where my mom's uh, Air Force unit we drew to. So that was 1979. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. So how, how old are you in this picture? <laughs> this one right here. Did you find baby like, pictures of this guy? He's are, like, you, are, you, are you calling his parents and shit? I know, like, right? Baby pictures? Well, that work? I, I, had to pull in, I had to pull in some favors. <laughs> Theunlikelyyank.com. Right? My book. And it's in there. It's, uh, I was probably, gosh, I don't know, um, six or seven It at looks the like time. you're pooping. <laughs> like you're paying. Yeah, I'm my cowboy little, <laughs> you know, it's, everything so, about America was fascinating because my mother would order American toys. So, um, for my sister and I when we were little, and that was truly so a luxury in Asia like at the time. G.I. Joe was basically your lens to America. Kind oh, G.I. Of like. Joe, yes. I mean, what, yes. what were we talking about? Like, what, what, what were you into as a kid? I it was pretty much the whole cowboy, uh, dressed up as cowboys so with cap, the, uh, the cap, cap guns, guns yes. and cowboy boots, yes. and hats. I think everybody might do that yes. at least once. Yeah. Like. And so, but in Asia, that was unusual. Oh, really? That was rare because you, you couldn't get that. Mom ordered it through PX. Um, so well, older guys or military service guys, you all know how that goes. So mom will go through up, a it might not. Sears uh, <laughs> robot catalog and order uh, through PX. And so you actually guys had like grew up with American toys and no one else. I, I grew you, up with American toys. Were you the coolest with, kid on the block? Uh, absolutely. Oh, very cool. <laughs> absolutely. So, so I got to ask, what's your favorite Western then? If you're a Western guy, uh, the Western what? Like what? What's your favorite Western movie? Are you a Clint Eastwood guy? Uh, or are you like, uh, you know, you, you I, I love Clint Eastwood, you know, but Jason Bourne. Really? But Jason Bourne's not Western. Well, Cowboy not. Western. It's got to be Clint. Cowboy Western is respect. Clint. Respect. Respect. Yes, absolutely. Fistful of Dollars is still the best Western <laughs> oh, ever made. Yes. Ever made. Fistful yes. of Dollars. If you if you're too young to know about spaghetti westerns, educate yourself. Is all yeah. I'm saying. Yes. It's Actually, stuff. spaghetti westerns uh, was one of the heavy inspirations. Uh, for John Favreau for the making of the Mandalorian. Are you kidding me? No. Nope. So it, so he's given like, are we talking like a Firefly type vibe, like full, or they're just adapting some of the themes? A lot, a lot of the the themes and the feel of a of a spaghetti western. Ooh, I'm even more excited. I know, for right? Like, I might actually pay the ten bucks. So for Disney so Plus. John, <laughs> when did when did you and your family come to the United States? Because I think this picture right here is when. You said you came to the U.S., right? No, that was oh no that oh yeah oh my god yeah. <laughs> so. September 3rd, September 3rd, 
1979. That picture was taken at the uh, Chiang Kai-shek airport. At that time, it was friends spanking new. Ooh. And we'll we... name drop in there? We'll name drop? My, my mom, my younger sister, Peggy, and I came. My dad didn't want to come. My dad... It, and, you know, you got to understand, he was already 50-some years old. Yeah. Moving to a foreign country, starting out all over, he just wasn't language, feeling it. The whole nine yards. He had, culture. and you know, he had the business in Taiwan. So, but mom has always been a very independent woman and trailblazer. And she spoke; she was fluent in Chinese, Taiwanese, English, and Japanese. That's a so badass woman. Right she's there. like, you know what? If you don't want to go, up, I'm oh, taking oh, the sorry. kids. Tacos telling us you got to scoot a little bit. Yeah. Now, now yeah, we're on now, 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 so, we're, now we're centered. Get the blocking. Was, yeah. We're good now. <laughs> so so mom decided, you know what? You don't want to go. That's fine. I'm taking the kids. We're going. Wow. So yeah. just, just the th- <laughs> so again, basically, or is just the three guys just picked up and go? Or was there like a plan? Or it, No, it was a plan. Mom had a plan all along. I mean, she was, I mean, all, the entire Air Force went back to okay. Honolulu. So all her um, colleagues and, uh, her, you know, superior officer, their family, they, they were like, you know what, come over, we got you settled. We picked up our green card at the airport in Honolulu Airport. Oh, wow. We arrived and it was there because it was military. <laughs> yeah. and, but, you know, for me, it was, I was 15 years old. So just describe me, what was that feeling like? <laughs> You're 15 years hold old. Hold on, hold on, hold on. What's that? What did I do wrong? Greg Brothers says Clint was allergic to horses. <laughs> No. Greg, Greg Brothers is a filthy liar. <laughs> about Clint Eastwood again, I'm going to come find you. I don't it's know gonna, where you live. You're going to punch you in the face. But you're on my list now, buddy. Don't talk oh, no, about we're, we're over here. We're over here. He's going to sign up. He's going to sign up. He's going to sign up for the Russian side at Hellfire I so he can shoot you. I will be at every lying clause from now on. Like everybody else. Miserable. Everybody. <laughs> so, so, yeah. First time you step off the plane, you're 15 years old. America hits you in the face. What's that like? It, you know, in the beginning... Did you speak English? A little. A little. A little, just okay. to get by. I, it was at McDonald's, and my sister had gone to American school so she could speak English fluently. I didn't. I went to Chinese school. So we went to McDonald's, and people ordering food, and I'm going, okay, that's not English. <laughs> because <laughs> people are like, hey, bro, I like the kind, you know, I like the kind, oh, yeah, cheeseburger, yeah? Hey, bro, no, the kind pickle, yeah? <laughs> what? What did I? So what? They, they didn't that's cover, not. That's they, not English. So, dude, bra. Um, it was pigeon English. Where, 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 that wasn't covered in school. Oh, yeah, pigeon English. <laughs> I was like, when I went to high school, boy, that was a white, you know, eye opener. People were like, "Hey, bra, trippy, yeah, bra. I like zebra." <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I'm going so, bra. Let so me. We need okay. Like a, a translator. <laughs> yeah. Dictionary so, bra. I'm pretty sure that's not what the kid meant. So learning, <laughs> so learning English was a uphill battle because it, they, you, because they, they yeah, spoke pigeon. Yeah. That was, that was really difficult, and when I didn't understand, I tried to reply with what I knew, what I learned in school. I'll be like, pardon me? They're like, hey, bro, no, act that way. You think you're better. You sound like Van Howley. You think you're better. <laughs> <laughs> what, bro? You like beef? Oh, my goodness. I so, like beef. Yeah, I like best, beef. That, but that, so <laughs> next, that's like the best accent I've heard so far from Hawaii. Oh. So next question. Um, a lot of people that go to your events know that you started in paintball. Yes. Can we talk about what, paintball? What show? made you... S- why did you start playing paintball, and when did you start playing paintball? I, I, you know what? My childhood started when I was 31 years old. Ooh. Yeah, because before that, it was all immigrant struggles. A lot of you who are immigrants, you get it. Or a lot of you who were in the military, you moved to another country, you lived there, tried to start your life, you get it. From age 15 to about 30-something, it was all about getting used to America. It wasn't, it's not as easy as they make them look like in the movies learning language, learning culture. My, my biggest shock, you asked me, what was the biggest shock when I came to the United States? Homecoming game, football, high school. Oh, really? wow. I went to, yeah, this is before I even enrolled Mauna Loa High School. We went to Refer High School's homecoming game because my mother's friend lived there. Yeah. I was like, I have never seen those in Asia before on a 16-year-old girl. <laughs> oh, oh, now we get to the... It wasn't the football wow. there was. It was uh, the cheerleaders. It oh. was the cheerleaders all along. Oh, and it wasn't just that. And then I look at the football player when they took the field. I was like... Hey, Chris, look at me. What's up? Oh! <laughs> get your buddy here. Go! <laughs> oh, my God. It's the assassin. <laughs> get your ass in here, Whisper. Oh, my God. We have a special guest. Come over here. Hey, 
John. This is Tony Patton himself. Whisper, whisper in the house. How you doing, brother? All That's right. great. So, oh, Tony good. Patton just... <laughs> Oh, I knew that was coming too. That hurt a little bit. <laughs> That's great. That's awesome. So, we, we, as I take you know about yeah, these clothes. We did a review Approved. on them. So, but man, uh, Tony and Coco and David Lee, they're all here for a body armor event. Um, they have a booth at. Uh, if you need to get your body armor, they'll help see? you out. Body armor, oh. it's it. I got our rec kit. He's already got okay, it. Here, all he, he comes with props. Do you see this? Look at like, this. Everybody, everybody wants to go. He just says for recreational use only. And right. just so you know, that product placement is fifty dollars, <laughs> <laughs> made out to kaiju and peltast. Okay? Yes. Or just peltast. It works. It works. <laughs> John, it is good to see you, bud. It's good to see you, brother. Oh my god, you never know who's going to show up. Did you guys just get in? How you doing, man? Yeah, good. Well, actually, I went. I wanted to. I didn't have you. I was going to come shoot you in the shower, but I didn't have you. Oh, that's right. Same hotel. Yeah, same hotel. But same we're not going to say what hotel. Not hotel. Yeah. So, all right. <laughs> all right. Let me get out of here while you guys right. do it tomorrow. All right, yeah, no. all right bud. See you guys. You can bring me back get to shot. Bias, that, oh, that hey, stung a little bit. Robert to shoot their target. Jacob Law said, who let you in? Ah! <laughs> oh. can't make Avalon now. Wait, Jacob can't make... What? <laughs> what? Jacob, why can you not make Avalon? Why can't you make Avalon, because Jacob? He, he does the Watermaker, the big gun show, where he makes all of his money, and it's that same weekend. Oh. He does it twice a year, and oh. he has to go. Okay, okay. We'll give it, you a pass. Acceptable. If you're doing we'll gun stuff, it's totally it's acceptable. It's all right. Totally acceptable. <laughs> Real firearm stuff. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> Sonny. Come here, Sonny. <laughs> Sonny. <laughs> Come here, Sonny. <laughs> Yes, yes we're we're live. Live. come on, Sonny. Over here. So, come on. The internet will shame you if you don't come over and hang out. Another good friend of ours. Yes. <laughs> come here, Sonny. I have not brought my props. All right. No, stay right here. You're going to be in the middle. You're going to be in the circle. Special effects he using green berets. So, Sonny Pepito. Yes, Pepito. Pepito. I said it right. Oh, my gosh. I didn't butcher it. Tax City Airsoft. In Fullerton. Fullerton. I, I should know that. It's one of the places I should know <laughs> that. Should take two. I, I, I know. <laughs> we, when would we describe it as like a bucket list stop in airsoft? Is it kind of is it that level? I would. Yeah, and I would also call, is it's the home of Speed QB, right? It's the ri the origin. Yes. The origin. The origin. You, do you guys have like a Speed QB museum? But you can't see it because it's so fast. A museum. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, if you it's blink, just, it's on. Quick, quick display. <laughs> quick display in your guys. Just like that. Yep. So <laughs> when is the next uh, tournament? Uh, that that's an N1 actually. They moved it to N1. That's, oh really? That's at uh, sometime this month, I believe. Oh wow! Yeah. So what have you been doing at Tech City? Airsoft. What have we not been doing? <laughs> oh, that's uh, true. He does it all. He's the boss. <laughs> he counts that's cash. <laughs> that's his job. <laughs> Whole picture. Nerf archery tag. Um, what is archery tag? Because I just so, got tagged so, with a bow. So and that didn't feel <laughs> we were looking at that. I was like, that's pretty cool. We might have to bring that into it. Yeah, we, right. we got a little instructional video if you want to see the full. Like, we did a full review of that. With that? On IGTV, yeah. Oh, so, wow. Yeah, oh, yeah. yeah, check our IGTV we if you want to see. We, we got it to go 100 yards. Yeah. Really? And we dropped it, like, wow. within five like How a five durable are the actual ball. darts? Or the An entire they're, weekend they're, of they're, shooting everything. They're more, the, the phone compound is more dense than a, a popular company that everybody knows the name of. We'll call them N Earth. <laughs> Wait, no, no, that's too, that's too close. We'll call them uh, Earth N. Earth N. Earth N. N. <laughs> no, they're actually, and they're flat, and they're whistle. That's what's great. I mean, we were actually yeah. trying to promote them as uh, anti-vehicle and bunker busters. And here's the bunker best busters. price point, 30 bucks for the whole set. A bow in four hours is 30 bucks. So wow. That's retail. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Not a bad set. It was the, the hit of the New York Toy Show. Who makes it? Zing. 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 <laughs> Zing translates into ching ching. That's the last sound you hear when it hits you, right? Zing. Well, it's more of a whistle and then an ouch. That's more of a whistle. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you could ouch. do a knockoff company. Yeah. Brand called ouch. Ouch. Ooh. Ooh. Copyright. No. <laughs> little, 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 little partnership here. Yeah, partnership. Little John yeah. Yeah. Thanks for having me. Yeah. Have fun with this guy. All right, bye. Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> okay, now that that's done. Okay. So... <laughs> So, 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 John, how long Thanks, buddy. did you participate in the paintball scene? I was introduced to paintball by a gentleman by the name of Mike Masita, and a lot of old timers in paintball all knew him. Old timers in Airsoft in SoCal also knew Mike. Uh, he was kind of oh, like a pioneer in, in a lot of the, that stuff. So, I was in paintball for about three, three years or four, at SC Village primarily. And that's when my and first SC Village used to do paintball. I, they still do. Oh, they SC. still do. Ooh. I've never and been to SC Village. My my first. I want to. We should Our go. first scenario game, the referee was Dennis. 
People will go to SC, they're like, no way, he's the boss. Yes, Dennis so was he our worked, referee. He his way up? And down here? Oh, well, he owned it, right? Oh, so he's and up he owned it, and he wanted to be our referee because I had Sergeant Ken Miller, um, that famous Vietnam lurk, and I had Major uh, Jim Morris, uh, Operation Dumble Drop. That famous Green Beret. And Wait, are those so the guys in the picture? The, in, in the picture? Uh, no, that one is, that's already line calls. That's already line calls. That's <laughs> already line <laughs> We tried. We tried. That would have been dope if you dropped that picture know, right? right when he said yeah. that. John hasn't seen a lot of these pictures. <laughs> so, you know. So. No, that is... Wow, that is line cost one because That's that eighteen years ago. Oh, the guy in the middle, the guy not in uniform, is a SOG legend, Mitsuho uh, Mishima Bobrovsky. Can, you can imagine in the army, you're calling Bobrovsky, get up here, and here is a five foot four skinny little Japanese guy that runs up. They're like, is this a joke? <laughs> no, his his story is just absolutely amazing. How he went from an orphan from Okinawa at the end of World War Two. Adopted by Sergeant Bobrovsky of the United States Army, and then uh, he became Sergeant. And Bobrovsky. he became a Green Beret Very and cool. became a SOG man. Very cool. Oh wow! Yeah, that, that guy is a true legend. So if you guys yes. don't know what SOG is, that's uh, MACB SOG, Special Operation Groups, Military Assistance Com- Military Assistance Command Vietnam. So if you saw anything Special Operations from Vietnam, it all fell under that. That's yeah, what, that's what SOG is, guys. I I had the uh, the extreme privilege to befriend him, so that you was. You have a lot of really cool friends, dude. Yeah. I'm a little jealous. Like, so I mean... real quick before we make the transition, if you have not voted, vote for the loadout battle. The guy in the left. Make sure you vote. Hit oh, the little purple me. button down there by in the chat uh, window. Vote. How ahead is uh, is Dylan right now? Is he like a hundred votes ahead, dude, or is it tied, or how'd that work? It's it's like three percent. Difference right now. Yep. Oh, is it? So you need it's to like vote. 3% you need difference. to get your friends on to vote if they haven't voted yet, because we could see someone being toppled. We could see a oh, titan yeah. come down today, <laughs> brought oh, down yeah. to earth. Yes. Uh, vote yeah. for the third party <laughs> wildcat. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> so, um, what made? When did you make the decision? Decision. I don't know how to use air quotes, okay? Uh, decision. Here, I'll do, it, I'll do it for him. Here we go. Decision, decision. <laughs> to go from paintball uh, to airsoft. I went from, I used paintball um, to, to start scenario games. And we had a, we had a good time. We used it to Wait, promote you pl- Did you play with, like, mechanical markers? Like, before, like, electrical like markers? Pump no, pumps? I didn't use pump guns. I used uh, Cause I heard, Because I heard you like to pump it. The, uh, whoa, whoa, that's too... <laughs> Hold on, hold on, wait, wait, wait. We gotta check with standards and prep. Roll, roll out, roll out, okay. roll out, roll out. Okay, it's good, it's good. So, BM68 was my go-to marker back then, and then the developer of BM68 turned it into a shorty XM177. Uh, I, I, I loved it because now it looks like a real gun. It was yeah. really cool. We had a retractable stock, and we did Vietnam, and so far and so on. But then that kind of gradually kind of went over because people back then were not used to doing scenario. Paintball in SoCal, they didn't want to do the Vietnam. We did it for a while. And then I kind of like, ah, eh, you know, I will play leisurely at SC Village when I went about that time. And everything went on until 9 11 happened. Um, but, you know, I had done a lot of stuff, you know, dealing with Beverly Hills 90210, working with uh, actress Jenny Garth, and a lot of uh, fun stuff. 9 um, 11 happened. Name drop. Everything died. 9 11 happened. So I lost all of my tourism business. I lost everything. Uh, my favorite clients were uh, the Japanese and the Russians. And the Japanese believe if they come to the United States, they would die. Because that's how the media portrayed it. Yeah. Kind of like how the media portrayed come to riot, like the entire Southern California was ablaze. Yeah. Like how they're talking about Hong Kong right now. It's not entire Hong Kong. It's a pocket of it. So back then, they were like, oh, no, 9-11. Entire America, if you go, you will die. So the Japanese stopped coming. I had no business. The Russians... They were still coming until, you know, until they, the, the, the famous, you're either with me or against me phrase. Yeah, that might and be, the Russians, to understand the Russians is very simple. Look in their mirror. You're looking at the Russians. They are exactly <laughs> like us. Because they're like, hey, my way is the only way. If you don't like it, well, you know. <laughs> is that one of those, like, we're so alike that we butt heads? Yes, we're so alike. Is, like, it's, you know, it's, it's, we're long so lost brothers. We lost business. We lost all of our business from Russia. So now I have no business. So for one year, I couldn't find work right after 9-11. So one day, I was just sitting down with a young man named Walter Chang, 
and oh, and another gentleman by the name of uh, name drop James Ty. He um, we sit there and James was importing airsoft at the time, right. and I never heard of airsoft. So he's like, "Hey, dude, you got no business right now. So how about get Colonel McKnight to play airsoft?" I was like, "Okay, that is the dumbest thing I ever heard." <laughs> let, let me stop you right there. <laughs> So his suggestion at the time mm-hmm. was let's go take let's go propose to take these toys yes. that no one's ever heard of yes. and go to a ranger legend yes. <laughs> and get him to come out and play with toys. Right? I mean that that's a ballsy that's a ballsy notion right Because now. I had met Colonel McKnight the year before when we did a weekend of heroes. Oh, and we okay. flew Colonel McKnight out to California as a speaker and we made an action figure, not a doll. An action figure. Doll. Oh, Colonel McKnight. It's a doll. <laughs> doll. <laughs> It's a six inch doll. Wait, not is it six inch? No, Twelve inches. inches. Twelve inch doll. It's a full inch doll. twelve inches of doll. So, <laughs> so they say, why don't you get Colonel McNutt to play airsoft? I'm like, first of all, time out. So you've only known what him is for airsoft? a year. Yes. And they want you to ask him a favor. Because yes. he's got the hookup. He's got the. You know how it works. He asked me to go ask Colonel McNutt. So he's like, you got nothing right now, John. You have no work. You have no business. You got nothing. Keep an open mind. So I thought, well, the worst Colonel can say is no, right? <laughs> So true. I call true. I call Colonel. I said we're gonna do this thing pro Usarak, and I also contacted local Usarak, mm-hmm. U.S. Army Recruiting Command, and invite the recruiters out. And at a time, night eleven just happened, so that was popular. Yeah. And so the recruiter agreed, and I said, okay, Colonel McDonald would chit chat. Colonel was like, John, I don't play paintball, sir. It's not paintball. It's airsoft. And he's like, what is airsoft? <laughs> <laughs> it sounds kind of soft. Do you, Colonel do, said. Do you walk over and like blow on something. <laughs> <laughs> right. How are you? Airsoft. It's very soft. Yeah. He's like, that Rock doesn't sound very masculine. <laughs> He's like, it sounds less and less attractive, John. <laughs> so I convinced Colonel to do the one event, the first flying clause. We had the total of 79 okay. people. 79 people in Southern California. Yep. No stores at a time. Where? Flying clause. Where did that come from? <laughs> And or as we say, <laughs> kitty claws, yes. kitty paws. Yes. Wow, wow. yes. <laughs> we, we, the movie Crouching Tiger and Hidden Dragon just came out. So the three of us were eating Vietnamese noodles over lunch, James, Walter, and myself. A little pho. And we were, yeah, pho, right? And we were just eating, and I'm like, okay, so we do this airsoft, whatever this airsoft thing is. What should we call it? I say, like, since all the guns are made in Taiwan, what are you going to call it? Like, like. Tiger paws, tiger bun, lion claws. And Walter came back from the bathroom. He's like, shouldn't lions have more than one claw? Hence, lion claws. <laughs> Two of them. <laughs> okay, so that was. <laughs> so the event was named Lion Claws. Yes. So where did Operation Lion Claws Military <laughs> Simulation. What? What's the Series. One? Series. O L C O C S. Because let me guess, you, you had to come back you the are. next year and you did it a second time. Well, it's got to be a series because now we have two. So it's like, it's like cars. When you make the second one, you have to add like three letters onto it. So it's like the S T I and then the S T I R B six nine 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 nine. Well, so actually, add, add no, we year. didn't. We actually didn't change that until maybe eight years ago. Oh, okay. So we're behind the. And so behind for the, for ten years, we were ten years or so. We went with just. Operation Lion Claws, Operation I Ring, Operation Bola, you know, whatever event. Until we start working closer with the military bases, and then we realize in their documents, they like acronyms. They had like real long acronyms, and that's when we kind of like, oh, let's just, so you know, go with the culture. To, adds to the flavor of it. It kind of fits everything. Pretty much. One. Yeah. Okay. And that was, that was the only reason. I mean, we kind of went with the culture. Yeah. You've been holding out on me. Ooh. Because Greg Brothers says, you have a case of Mad Max... Action dolls. I don't have a case. I have two. Wait, are we two? <laughs> yeah. Are we talking like original movie? Like no, 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 no. no. Max Mullen. Max oh, Mullen. Oh, Matt Max. Oh, I thought Matt we were yes. talking about like, like yes, like post-apocalyptic. Cases. I don't have a case. You have I had back in gosh, back in when there was a action figure industry to speak of, 2003 or 2004. We made oh we we did Weekend Heroes and we donate money to. Uh, um, veterans family and then we make action figure of uh, chosen fallen American hero and you know obviously Colonel McNeil wasn't there <laughs> <Thank Well, God. laughs> yeah. so we, we Colonel McNeil was the first one then we did some World War II guys and so far and so on then one year we did Matt actually we did three versions of Matt Max 
Oh, wow. Yeah, Max was extremely popular. There are three versions. So that brings up a really interesting question because I know that a lot of what you, a lot of your events are have at least a charity component, if not their complete charity event. How many, how much, and how many, what are your causes that you guys are mainly into supporting I'm, with that? I mean, well, before that, okay. what made you well, that's a good, that's want a good. to donate to start donating to charity causes first of all? That goes back to my childhood. Um, when I mentioned earlier, my mom was U.S. Air Force in Taiwan. So when mom had to go to D.C. and when she's busy traveling, um, and my dad had his own construction business, so a lot of times my sister, my younger sister and I were left alone, um, our next door neighbor was a captain, Air Force captain. It was from same post where my mom worked. Uh, so Captain RV will always look after myself and my sister. And he will cook for us, and he will take us to uh, Toyland. That was, for those of you old timers, you know Toyland on post at PX. Mm -hmm. And that's where I met my first American hero, G.I. Joe with Kung Fu Grip. Who was your first G.I. Joe? It was just G.I. Joe with Kung Fu Grip. Oh, it was just the, yes, the, the standard, Kung Fu Grip. Yes. like, soldier. Yes. And, and I, my, my eyes just went crazy when I saw everything made in USA. It was made in USA, made in USA. I was like, oh, my God. I got goosebumps. Look at that. It's like American kids. Yeah, like, wow, he it, does. I actually can see them right <laughs> yeah. now. Like, it's like that's crazy. American kids are, the, like, the luckiest kids on earth. Oh, my God. Everybody has G.I. Joe and Long Ranger and... Well, later on, you know, my buddy said, what are you, stupid? No, all of us had that. <laughs> <laughs> Only the good kids. <laughs> Only the cool kids. So because of that, and when we left Taiwan, um, I was 15 years old. And Uncle Arby had been transferred to England. He later retired as a full bird colonel. Okay. And um, so I think in the back of my mind, it was that kindness. It just stuck with me. And when I have an opportunity to give back, it just kind of came naturally. Cool. It wasn't something anybody... When I was poor, when I was dirt poor, a Special Operation Warrior Foundation could check my record. They would see I would send like 100 bucks or 150 bucks, whatever I can. Not because anybody asked me to, it's just I want to. People are like, what? Aren't you 501c3? I said, no. I'm proud to pay tax and donate on top of that. Lessons for you out and there. Then what was your Lessons. question about charities? So, which are your favorite charities? Who do you like to donate to? Who do you work with mostly? We typically give to Special Operations Warrior Foundation. Um, that Colonel Corrigan speech last month was very powerful. Um, before I ring this year, I was, and yes, Greg <laughs> and Jeff Minge, if you're watching, yes, I complain and I whine about how difficult it is and blah, 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 blah. But listening to Colonel Corrigan's speech, it's just like a punch in my face going, you know what? Remember why you do this. Because yeah. Colonel Corrigan was talking about, <clears throat> thank you. For all of you who supported Irene this year, thank you. And all the sponsors. Because it meant so much to them. The Colonel said, their youngest, they're, they're supporting right now, it's eight months old. But in two months, which will be the end of next month, that kid will not be the youngest anymore. They got two on the way, oh, and wow. both uh, special forces sergeants all got killed. So, what I mean, I, you mentioned it when I was, ah, nah. get it out. Nah. Okay, there we're we go. good. We're there good. We go. All right. So I, I heard your information. You guys have a pretty big number that you've donated in total so far, and the, and, the, and the life of Lion Claws. So, would you mind sharing that? Like, how, what is the total amount that has been given? I think close to a hundred thousand. Um, wow. Because that's, that's with Irene, we give change. we give ten. Right. I ring it's 10, 10, 10, Every 10, 10. Every single time. That, uh, if, awesome. uh, no, no. We started at 2017 years. Six or No, because remember we were having this debate in yeah. formation that this was the 17th. 17th I ring. I ring 17. Yeah. Was but like, in the beginning, we didn't have the money to donate. Oh, okay. Because, you know, you, there, there's a big brother called IRS. But you can't donate if you don't make money. He does okay. not know. We can't say that. <laughs> because can't say it out we, loud. We don't need them watching the speed right now. <laughs> so... If you say them, they I will think appear. was from Irene uh, five or Irene. I think Irene five maybe. Okay. When we start generating profit, and that's when I start giving. Gotcha. Yeah. Nice. Gotcha. And Great. then the, one of the when you're at Irene, guys. Or sorry, no more Irenes. When Fallujah. You're at, when you're at a line, Fallujah's new. Fallujah's one. a new one. So when you're in a Lion Claws event, guys, remember you're giving back and enjoying yourself on the weekend. That's there's yeah. not many places you can do that. Remember, guys, it's important. <laughs> so Greg Brother says. Tiger Paul, number one Milsim round eyes. <laughs> <laughs> and I love you a long time. Is that okay for TV? I think we're, we're going with it. It's okay. So, oh, and PNW Punk is in the chat. Hey, Punk. How's it going, brother? He actually asked, 
ask John how he feels about airsoft in the northwest. Ooh. Are you setting this up, punk? Punk, you got something. Is there an announcement? Dude, are you trolling? Is this you... maybe is this maybe a C three type thing? What's going on, punk? Oh, well, dude. I'm gonna bring Rich over here in a minute, just for you, punk. Hey, we, we did a uh, we did one op there um, at Cambrilea, mm -hmm. and this is what I remember about Cambrilea event. It was August. We woke up in the morning. It was 48 degrees. What is wrong with that? That's my kind of event. I don't want heat. I want cold. I'm down. Like, yeah. I sweat too much as it is. Oh, wait. No, I'm wrong. Not one. Two events. The second event, uh, attendance was extremely low, and it's okay. You know, we got good ones and bad ones, but it was the best AO ever. Oh, my God. 56 buildings of where, where, all industrial. Where it was it? just in the suburb of Portland. And we gave $1,000 because it was a small event. We gave $1,000 to the fallen officers at Foundation. So the PD actually came out, accepted the check oh, very uh, cool. on Saturday morning during formation. That AO was the most amazing. Um, unfortunately, there's a very posh restaurant sits on the waterfall that oversees it. <laughs> so they don't want to see a bunch of guys and in Guys running guns and camouflage. So punk. You gotta watch till the end because we're gonna talk about an event coming in 2020 up in your neck of the woods, a little close to better, better question. <laughs> Not like what is punk doing in your state, but like right next to Should it. Should he be preparing so. for a show right now? Yeah. Like why are you? In no, our punk's chat? multitasking. Is he multitasking? He's yeah. back. He's up here. He's got multiple yeah. screens. Okay. Yeah. So if you guys are watching after our show, is another Army airsoft substance. Wait, that's no, right. Wait, was it? It's the ASAP. <laughs> podcast <laughs> you gotta check them out all right so um, love you guys where did you get the idea of in, instead of player commanders having vips you know these war heroes like actual commander commanders as actual commander commanders playing toy you know playing pretend war basically um paintball vietnam scenario games what i started with se village we had Vietnam, uh, Green Beret versus LERP. Uh, Ken Miller, I, you know, I always say the guys, people follow me, they're like, is he really Chinese? No, Ken Miller's not really Chinese. <laughs> I call him my Chinese <laughs> uncle because he's the only Chinese person I'm very close to. No, he's not really Chinese. He is fluent in Chinese because he's married to a lady from Taiwan. Ah. Ken, after Vietnam, went to live in Taiwan for 10 years. How was that? And um, it's not he... The reason why I call him my Chinese uncle because he's more Chinese than I am. <laughs> and he watches Chinese TV, Chinese news. He's done, yeah, same guy, Ken Miller. Google him, K E N N, two N's. Yeah. Did from... you just have a meal with him recently? Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> so it was him versus uh, Jim Morris, not the singer, <laughs> the Green Beret legend, Dumble Drop, real Dumble Drop. So it was from there. Who was he in the movie? Was he, um, uh, um, was, uh, gosh, I, that, the movie's so old, so long ago. I was don't he Danny exactly. Glover or was he the other captain? I can't remember. Oh. I know he's not the elephant. If you, if you guys know, let's know. He, <laughs> he was wasn't not, the he elephant. He was not the elephant, okay? <laughs> Steve says, you're really his uncle. <laughs> yes. Steve Tom's there's, there's more of an age. <laughs> yes. Thank you, Uncle Tom. Not black. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh. Might be a problem. No, we always call him that. Because I had to clarify. You know, we could always replay Steve Tom falling up a stairs backwards. Do we have that backwards. on repeat? We could just put that, we can make that the Balkan Airsoft. How do you have the stair backwards? Label from now on. We can just have that gif running all the time right there. Right? Whenever you log on. Steve Tom going so, down on stairs. In, in your opinion, because so you, you, you've been in Airsoft a very long time. So what would you say has changed the most in Airsoft? from the time you got in to like now. And it could be commerce, it could be product, whatever. I mean, what do you think has probably changed the most? Um, product, obviously, because back then, my first Airsoft event, I rented a Tokyo Marui straight out of the box for $80. Whoa! <laughs> yeah, oh, whoa. <laughs> $80 yeah. rental gun. And there were, no, there were no retail stores except for this one, Gun Tech, and people said, oh, you got to go see art. You got to go rent it from Replisol, from art. It no longer exists, obviously. Yeah. But back then, that was the first time I ever played Airsoft. I rented a Tokyo Marui for 80 bucks. And I absolutely hated it because it couldn't shoot straight. Obviously, out of the box, right? <laughs> I didn't know it was a hot pop. You know? 
I'm like, just give me my paintball gun back, man. My paintball gun could have And so that was the first game I played. Wait, wait, are you, are you sure it didn't shoot straight or, or was it your eyes? <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, it went. And, and people keep saying, oh, it's your hot pop. You got to trash your hot pop. I'm like, what's a hot pop? Nobody ever told me anything. They just say, here's a gun. Thanks for 80 bucks. Bring it back. When you got a new player out there, guys, make sure you show them. Don't just tell them. Like, actually, like, show them how to adjust their hop up. Yeah. Little less a dope. Be that guy. Oh, my God. Hold on. One second. Hey, Matt. Yo. Matt. Yo. Come here, Matt. Get your butt over here. Come on. No, no, we're live. You gotta get over we're here. We're live. Interrupt that. <laughs> so, it's just, again. Okay, watch the cables. Watch, watch the cables. Cables, cables. Come watch on, cables. Watch the cables. Come on, man. Get in the center, bro. Get your butt in there. Get it. I'm right, where am I? I'm right here. Right here, right here. Okay. So, this is we'll Matt Horner we'll we'll from you. Titan Power. Titan Power. <laughs> so, they make, um, uh, they make helmets. Yeah. Started in the RC helmets. We we helmets. RC power in industry. <laughs> <laughs> so, started off in the RC power industry and now make uh, energy products for Airsoft. Yep. And Whisper, we don't go away. <laughs> <laughs> go away, Whisper. <laughs> Back. I'm trying to. Back. I'm trying to give Titan Powers some, some cards here, and you're, you're screwing me. I'm glad you saw him because I was about to get shot. Yeah, you can over me. You can shoot him on, shoot him on Saturday. You'll be like, okay, okay, Saturday. Uh, Did we pack our bows, or we need to go pick up some new ones? I know, we need to go to Walmart and pick up some Walmart's new ones. Walmart's definitely on the way But we can't, we can't have shoot plastic back. bags and plastic straws. No, no plastic, but you can have plastic bows. Dude, Let's what would you PVC think? pipe marshmallows? Or something? Uh -huh. Matt, what would you think? <laughs> one more time. What would you think about and John, a social justice game mm. where you have like I don't know gun toting lesbians versus vegetarian leather workers? <laughs> Ooh, oh that, that sounds fun. Yeah, you're gay. I mean, yeah. yeah, like the factions That's are like a mix marketing. of two opposing <laughs> right. ideals or groups, and and it's just. People just have fun with it. I mean, yeah. but a social the justice. The costumes would be good. Yeah. The costumes yes. would be great. Oh, I yeah. think so. Yeah. Sounds like cool. a good time. Do it at SHOT Show. <laughs> <laughs> Airsoft game at SHOT Show, undercover. Yeah. Mm. You got a like, secret murderer, right. but like at a real gun show. Ooh. Mm. That might be a problem. <laughs> Francisco from Portugal was watching the show. Wow. We're yeah. international! Thank you. Yeah. And it's like 1 a.m. there. Yeah. High five. Wow. That's dedication. Yeah. Yeah, so. Um, you guys gonna have a booth at Airsoft Con? We are. Yep. Where are you guys gonna be at? We are right in the middle, across from the Evic front door. Oh, okay. okay. So we're neighbors. Yeah. Uh, pretty, we're close pretty though, close. Right? We're not neighbors. We're close. It's like, like across the street. Neighbors. I think so. Yeah, because you guys are on the building. Who's side. on your left and right? Uh, PTS is on one side. Emerson's on the other. Okay, so, so he's one block down. Oh, so we don't. Okay. Not he's not directly okay. in front of yeah. us. He's one block. We're not yeah. neighbors. We don't. I take but everything okay. back. Yeah. <laughs> so, um, so yeah, come check him out. Oh. Um, Every hour on the hour, okay. we're going to go live, and we're going to be featuring uh, different brands of different products. Okay. So would you like to come? It's just like a five, ten minute Absolutely. segment. Um, we'll get together Friday, and then you can come and talk about some stuff that you guys are doing. He's that's breaking kayfabe right now. Totally <laughs> breaking kayfabe. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh. oh, okay. So, cool. Yeah. And, Thank you, man. And we got, we got somebody else. Get out, man. Okay, I'm out. I'm out. Get out. You're done. <laughs> okay, watch the Okay, we got another celebrity. It's almost like we, we got another the celebrity. goddamn tape up. What the I know. Hell? Look at this guy over here. Oh, look at this guy. Oh. So, um, so this guy. <laughs> okay, now John, John, this guy is from what? The best sponsor you have, right? Absolutely. Sometimes the only sponsor. So, <laughs> the best sponsor. So, Rob Pierce, um, he takes care uh, of Evic, um, works for uh, Falcon Airsoft, probably. Um, very long time. Yes, very long time. Yeah, a like, long time. Like when, when paintball companies first, like Falcons, first started getting into airsoft, this guy was the first guy to embrace airsoft. He's Literally. embraced a lot of things. Airsoft was And he doesn't speak, he's a, mute. <laughs> <laughs> he's a mute. He doesn't sometimes it's better if I don't He's talk. just <laughs> eye candy out here. Just to look so, at. Good to see you, man. Yeah, nice so, all right, we're going to get back to our show. Okay. Right. Go ahead, go ahead. Be gone. Be gone. There's uh, snacks in the green room if you need it. So, <laughs> and if you ever have any complaints about Valken, don't come to me. It's, <laughs> go to Rob. It's Rob. He caused it. At Valken.com. That's Rob Pierce. That's him. Does he you have know? Instagram we can give out to? Oh, oh Valken yeah. Rob on Falcon Instagram. Rob on Instagram. Oh, oh, spam, Falcon Rob. Spam, spam Falcon Rob on Instagram. So, um, but remember to vote on the low out. Oh, we gotta go. We gotta hit the loadout one more time, don't we? Oh yeah, let's hit the let's hit the loadout. You gotta load out. You gotta vote. There it is. 
You got to vote. All right, so remember, for you guys just joining us, we got, you guys, you know the guy on the right. You've seen him a lot. The guy on the left, on the other hand, Mr. Corey Saltsider, SAS loadout, looking slick. I'm just saying. I'm, I'm not telling you where to vote, but I'm telling you where to vote. I mean, you know what I'm saying? his wife, the Nilsson Medic, is about to have a baby, so he needs some exposure bucks wow. yeah. to help that baby out. Come on. Exposure, you gotta, bucks, are exposure, 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 exposure bucks can buy you diapers. <laughs> They can buy you formula. I don't know if they're going to do formula, but that's that's all. Yeah, yeah, too personal, too young. Yeah, so, so take take care of Corey. He's he's going to be he's going to be very busy and very tired. Make him happy now. That's all I'm saying. So um, so you you mentioned what you've seen change the most. Mm -hmm. What would you like to see changed in the airsoft industry? Oh, there's going to be some drums with this. There's going to be a little drums. Um, you know what I like to see is a little bit more. Team cohesiveness, like airsoft team or just industry team? Uh, airsoft teams. Okay. Yeah, player teams. More cohesiveness, more teams, and the older guys. And I'm I'm directing at line calls. Older guys have an open mind. Work with the younger guys because somebody's got to show the 14 year old to get to where you guys are. And the one thing that does bother me tremendously is when I tell people like, oh, I'm a male singer. He's a speed softer, blah, 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 blah. And I'm like, look, we all came from somewhere. We all play a lot of ping ball. I'm the older guys. And you know what? When we all started somewhere, we all wish some older guys, more experienced player, would guide us. I tell you my, I had a great experience at uh, Eve like uh, Airsoft Nation yep. this summer. I was one of the uh, commanders. I was so happy because the, ki the kids, they're, they're 14, 16, and they look up to you. We, we look at them, we was like, okay, how many of you came with friends? They all raise your hand. I'm like, okay, which one of you in this group is a top dog? You know, there's always that one. Yeah. They raised their hand. I'm like, okay, you're gonna be the squad leader. Y'all gonna listen to him. And you know what? I'm the commander, this is the XO. We will be the front line with you. And, and you're like, really? We're like, yes, hey, where really. are you going? Well, speaking, well, well, yeah, yo, hey, 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 get over here. Yeah. Speaking, and speaking of 14 year old speed softer. Get all of you, all of you in here. Come in. Oh, hold yeah, on, yeah, get all of you in here. Circle of love. Circle of love. Get oh wow. You guys, you guys brought a crew. Uh, yeah, yes. excellent. Yeah. Yeah. So, uh, <laughs> no, but I just though. I'm so tap yeah. airsoft. Okay. They do paintball, right? <laughs> no, no. no. Aaron, Renfield, nice. Connor. Yep. I have no idea who you are. <laughs> we don't either. Um, okay. He doesn't get Sometimes names. I get no names. shout out. Tyler. Tyler. Oh. Tyler. Tyler. Yeah, there it is. But you go by something else. Spectre. Spectre. Yeah. yeah. On Instagram. So, I'm a Tap guy. Airsoft, uh, these guys, um, you may think they're just speed softers, but uh, they've done Milsim. But what's really great, tapairsoft.com, they do a lot of, how would you say, innovative products to adapt normal airsoft products into, to allow you to use high pressure air. Um, a, lot of, a lot of adapters to go between you know, different types of magazines um, and a whole bunch of stuff. And you basically you, use an M4 magazine in any gas gun, in any gas platform. Wow. Even, even an M870 shotgun. So would you say if someone needs to tap something, you're their they guys? They tap that. Uh, yeah. Oh, 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 tap that. oh, you can have that one. Oh, they drop it all day long. Yeah. I got the patch. You. Um, <laughs> so you guys, uh, you guys have a booth this year at Airsoft Con. Yes. yes. So this is really cool. So they had a booth at Palooza. Oh, yeah. So and these guys are out of Flor like South Florida. <laughs> yeah. Wow. Like the That's tip. A way to come. Just yeah. the tip of Florida. Did they drive all the way here? Did they drive no. all the way? Sure not. So they were at Palooza <laughs> at High Ground at Palooza. And now they're here at Airsoft Con this weekend. Um, we're gonna I'm gonna have one of you guys. We're gonna go live every hour on Airsoft Con. Cool. And at the top of every hour we're gonna have a different company come and highlight a product. So I'm gonna not you. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> so, if you get, these guys are twins. 
We can we switch the twins halfway through the presentation? See what <laughs> Oh, that would be so. We can just go off camera and just have you guys swap. That'd be rad. That was so. Yeah. I think that'd be fun. So you gotta check them out. There's a lot of stuff going on, guys. Thank you. Yeah. We will catch up. And we'll see you. I have no yeah. idea who you are. <laughs> That's a joke. You guys now. rock. Appreciate it. All right, nice meeting you. So. This is insane. Like, are we ever gonna actually? We're never gonna finish this interview. We're gonna be on right? for like six hours. Like, it's just if someone shows up, Bob screams at him, brings him in. It's great. So, um, and to go back to you know, you say cohesiveness. I, I think more. I mean, I think something that's a little bit easier to realize is camaraderie. Just teams welcoming in other teams and being more friendly. Stop running around with an ego that you're the best and, because the bottom line is. We have an influence of the future of our industry. Yes. Oh my God. And, and if we all are selfish and only take care of our little bubble and screw everybody else, oh, then it dies. It dies. I just, dies. I just made a realization. I, I, I'm part of the old guys. <laughs> I, I'm an old guy. So, so we're gonna switch gears. Here. Yeah, old people. I, I'm gonna need a moment, just, just for me. Excuse me. So, um. So you are also, I mean, as you can see here, you do a lot of reenactments. Oh, spread out and show the show the folks at home. Yes, show the yeah, spin, twirly, twirly, spin, spin for daddy, twirly, twirly, spin for daddy. Oh yeah, look oh, at that sock right it. there. It's right here. That's that's a, it's, a, it's, a, it's a canteens are the most so, important part. Sucking it in. <laughs> so um, you you have more than one. Right. I mean, what do I call it? Costume, uniform. What would I call it? Impression. Impression is what they call it. So you're wearing an impression. Correct. Is yes. really. That's what that's what they it, call it. How is that different from cosplay? I mean, it's, isn't it just military cosplay? In my in my opinion, that really isn't. It's I mean, I'm not knocking thing. cosplay. I yeah. think We're just rad. a bunch of adults dressing up like children. That's it. That's it. <laughs> so, um, so the so you explained what you were wearing. Uh, tell the folks what they're oh, seeing on yes. the screen. What is what is that? Group? That is so cool. That is uh, World War II Chinese nationalist uh, soldiers. So, is that the 88th Division? That's 88th Division. The impression was 1937. He read it before. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> and they were homework. they were German helmets because they were equipped by the Wehrmacht before so, the outbreak of the war. I saw a really cool piece in this picture. Oh if that's this picture saw it? Okay. The guy on the far right has got these giant oh, SMG yeah. masks. Yes, yes. Is he, what gun is that for? Is, it, is he just really short or are they really that big and what guns They are, are they? yeah, doesn't matter about yay long. Yeah, when, and he's also for? a little short. <laughs> what, 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 was it? What, what gun is it? I thought it was like a Hotchkiss or something. It's not a Tom. I, you know what? I be honest with you. I, I thought it was a PPSH or something like that. I, I think it may be. It may be. Oh, we almost got yeah. it. Yeah. I'm a little pissed off because I lost this one. This was a, a good five minute argument. Over yeah. Oh, hey. <laughs> are you gonna come say hi? Yeah, we're live. More yeah, live. Say hello. Say hello. You no, you're right here. Get, you're right here. Guess go right here. You gotta go right here. Yeah, right here. Right here. Introduce her. Yes. Yeah. This. And I look camera. Camera's, uh -huh. camera's right here. Yep. Right here. Yes. A top <laughs> gear company, they do even uh, assault mm -hmm. dog gear. Assault dog gear? No, oh, yeah. Like police dog and military dog gear. Do you guys gear. make that sling where you can one like, sling tigers. Your dog? Yeah, one tigers. Yeah. Oh, that'd be cool. Yes. I know a bunch of you have at least one one tigress item. I have a <laughs> little bit. I got a butt pack. Even Sign CJ, right, up, right here. I even CJ one. said his dogs got that. All. I was like, really? Wow, must be really good if CJ yeah. likes it because cool. he picky. So, do you have dogs? I do, yeah, but so. she's tiny. <laughs> she's a pit bull terrier. <laughs> Oh really? Yeah, really. So and, tiny uh, dog products. And it's and it's sold um in in uh. Evex store. Um, yeah, oh, back. we'll have to check that, that out. The show yeah. Are we doing yeah. that? Yeah, we gotta find the dog. There's a so, dog section now. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, deep sea if, you're, if you're coming on Saturday, mm -hmm. look for the Valken Airsoft tents. They're yellow. Right mm -hmm. next to us is one Tigress. Yeah. So you can check out all the soft, uh, good tactical apparel for players and dogs. Yeah. If you have ducks, welcome to our booth. And if you do not have ducks, awesome. Get a dog. Get a dog. Yeah, get, a dog. Get, a dog. get a dog. Get a dog. Get a dog. I got, I got a pit bull, so. Uh -huh. Get a tactical dog. Yeah. Yeah. Well, thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. It's awesome meeting you. It's interesting. Everybody is here. Awesome. This place is so cool. Yes, yep, that's right what I see. We're going live. <laughs> so, um, mm -hmm. so, speaking of reenactments, this is a great picture of you. 
Ooh, that is very warlord. He's very warlord. It's not very often you see John squatting. Okay, <laughs> this is really great. Oh my god, I, yeah, it, it was one of those moments, and I told my wife, I was like, honey, I need you to take a picture of me. She was like, okay, in the backyard? Uh-huh. So I, I got out there, I was like, can I borrow a cigarette since I don't smoke? And I took a cigarette from the ashtray, and she tried to dang it right there. And um, she was like, just like that? I'm like, yep. Just like that. <laughs> you, your backyard looks a little post-apocalyptic. Um, did you guys <laughs> have a firefight Do you, for that? Like, no. <laughs> keep camo netting hung in the back of your... Is that like a... Yard? No, those are ivies. Oh, yeah, my neighbor's like, ivy kind of dangled down. <laughs> yeah. It's, it was actually much cooler if you just stuck with the camo netting. <laughs> no, right. That's all I'm saying. Like, <laughs> that was all real really domesticated <laughs> ivy. Oh. It's okay, guys. He yeah. does not do this for a living like us, okay? He doesn't know. It's okay. We, he's okay. <laughs> so... Um, Besides reenactments, you're a collector of many things. <laughs> toys. Not airsoft toys. But no, like not toy airsoft toys. toys. So, like, you brought some... Oh, show and tell time. These are not, like, your your everyday toys. Oh, wait, wait, wait. I gotta, I gotta play Ride of the Valkyrie. Hold on. We gotta play that. Done. Okay, there it goes. Gotta have the music. So if I'm not wrong, boys and girls, this is a UH-1 Huey Cobra, and that's a uh, later model. Cobra, they're Huey. Well, yep. I thought they were called a Huey Cobra when they put the gunship, the, the gunship stuff on. Or am I wrong with that? Um, oh, you mean this? Yeah, I thought yeah, like, when, they were, yes. when they were in a gunship, yes. I thought they were called like a, they, a Huey Cobra. Little, yeah, little dude there. That's what? Well, yeah. that's, that's a 40 mic mic grenade launcher, isn't it? Yeah. Yes. Yeah, that's a 40 mic mic from back yes. there. That's cool. And as you can see, John likes to play with helicopters. <laughs> <laughs> we found all the embarrassment. We found Look it at all. That. That's, that's live video right there. Yeah. John that's right. <laughs> oh, those are the... Uh, that's when you open okay, them. Okay, yes. Yeah, right after yes. You open them. By the way, guys, if you don't know, John does unboxing videos, and they are my favorite unboxing videos. And I, I really don't like those videos. Because he's so excited when he opens new stuff. It is like, I mean, believe it or not, this guy has regressed back to childhood. He, he is just happy to be here when it comes to stuff. Please check that out. It's I mean, look at all those helicopters. Yeah. How many helicopters do you have? Uh, six? Seven? Timothy's coming so, for you. And Timothy's got you beat. I, I Black mean, Hog. And Black Hog? Yeah. I got a, Black, a 118 scale Black Hog. Uh, from BBI. Black, and wait, Black Hawk Black or Black Hawk? Hawk. Black Hawk. Helicopter. H-O-G. Yeah. What? No, 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 not H-O-G. No, ah! not a hog. Hawk. <laughs> oh, yeah. Okay. I'm like, what's a Black Hawk? <laughs> I'm like, what? I don't know what's It's a flying pig. <laughs> it's, a, it's, a, it's a very low flying helicopter. It doesn't, oh doesn't get up there. Yeah. It's, it's so, <laughs> wait, sir. I mean, so people understand it like... It was featured in Toy Story. <laughs> what, what do one of these helicopters run? As far as cost. Well, this one, you can't get them anymore um, because this is 21st century toys. The company no longer exists. Mm -hmm. So do these come painted or is this all your work? No, they can be painted. I mean, you know, sometimes I'll add weathering to it. Oh, very cool. And then I add these figures to it. They don't come with figures. You know, he still hasn't said how much. Well, this I, one think, here, I think, I think it's because the wife's eBay watching. for about, like, maybe... 125, 145. Oh, that's not, that's not bad no, it's not, not bad at all. Those no. are really detailed too. Oh yeah. So did you do the weathering on this one? Um, I did a little bit, but it can pretty much weather. Oh, very cool. Yeah, this one. Yeah. Except yes. uh, no figures. You got to go get that separate. Oh, so Steve. You, Steve Tom says he wants to see Trixie. Oh yes. Oh, geez, my Trixie. What was that? My dog. My daughter. Oh, you didn't bring the. Pump? Oh wait, hold, 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 hold. Oh, Steve Tom, just for you. Just oh, is there you. a puppy picture? Oh! Puppy picture. We are destroying the internet right now. We have airsoft <laughs> oh. and puppy pictures. Look at that. We crossed There's the streams officially. It is a, it's There's very crossed. Trixie. Steve, you asked for it. You got it. Yes. Oh, dude. dude oh, dude. Get, get your butt get, in here. Get over here. Get, get your butt in here. here. Come in oh, here. No, no, no. Oh, Whoa. Crap. Whoa. Whoa, dude. No, you're breaking my set. Asian with camera. Hi. Hey. Oh, oh careful. No, 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 no. Oh, no, no. It's, okay, relax. It's, it's, it's relax. It's okay. <laughs> this is David Lee, Asian with hat, with hat yep. on Instagram. 
He's capturing a. What do you do? Are you filming right now? I am filming right now. He's filming right now. Are you now. live or are we recording? I am recording right now. Are you so, okay. <laughs> he's one of the guys with body armor event this yes, weekend uh, with Whisper Whisper and Coco. So. Oh, wait, is there, is there another company that maybe he wants to promote real quick? Oh, yeah. Ch check out Titan, uh, Titan Power. We, ju we, no, we just had Matt here. Yes. He was just on the show. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, if you're talking about my YouTube channel, go check out my YouTube channel, Asian, Asian Hat. Hat. you got to talk slower. <laughs> oh, I can't do that. Asian no, no, no. Slow, Hat. Slower, slower without smiling. <laughs> oh, that's a problem. Asian with He smiles too much, guys. He's a happy Go check out my up. YouTube channel, Asian with Hat. With hat, I, I not know, with a hat. Like it's with hat. hat. Just so fast, right? I know. Right? <laughs> so, all, right, all right, so walk just, slowly. Go slow, go slow, go slow, go slow. So you don't bump anything. Watch out! There's guns behind you. <laughs> yeah, be careful. Dude, APS, your backpack APS is, is just here. Your backpack is bigger than you. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. All right. Back to interviewing. Oh, so Steve next? Tom is very thankful that we showed tricks. Little puppy. Thing. Yes. <laughs> so, My baby. Tricks. <laughs> So, um, so other we're, we're on toys, of, right? uh, yeah. Speaking we're on of toys. other toys, so I saw on your Facebook you got some Thunderbirds. Yes. Uh, Look, I, if you yes. guys don't know, Thunderbird. yeah, Thunderbirds. 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 Yes. Thunderbird one go. You know what I'm saying? So why do you like Thunderbirds? Because when I was a kid growing up in Taiwan, um, some of the most popular cartoons were either Japanese or British. Was Thunderbirds and British? Thunderbirds, yeah. Was it? Oh, I yeah. didn't realize really? that. Oh, I yeah. Know. I thought it was American. Kid. Oh, no. Everybody spoke with an American accent, though. They're, no, they're oh. um, British. Learn something yes. every day, guys. <laughs> so what is, um, with the toy collecting, what is your preferred, would, it be, would you call it genre? Um, not really. I mean, it's kind of like, I, I like vintage G.I. Joe. Ooh. I really love them because of my childhood. So do, do they stay in the package or do they come out? I have some in the package. I have others that they you know, do get, I took they them do, out. They do get played with, though. Uh, yes. Okay, cool. You know what? Here's, here's my thing with, with toys. 99.99% .99 of my toys, you see my video, I ripped them open. You know why? Because I want to enjoy it. There's that no is, point keeping them in there, the box. There's no unboxing. It's like rip open, it's, it's like <laughs> start like, enjoying it. Very oh, aggressive right unboxing. <laughs> it is. There is. <laughs> and there's one coming up in a few days. I'm gu I guarantee there's some people who watch your stuff and they go, they just are crying because they're like, I've been looking for that yes. Thunderbird plane for 15 years in Min and he just opened it and now he's throwing it around his house. What am I going to yeah. do? Like, they were just dying on the inside. So, you know, this picture right here that you guys can see is, is a bunch of soldiers on a tank. How oh, big, yes. How big is that tank? <laughs> it's one six scale. So... It's the size of a coffee table. Yes, it is. Literally, yes. But the best thing in that pic... If you look all the way in the back on the couch, there's a Yoda doll. Yes. That's the best part of that picture. That's right my wife, that Yoda one. doll. <laughs> Star Wars. Okay. Yes. All right, we're going to cover it because we have to do it on the show every time. Favorite Star Wars character. Who, who are you? Ooh. Who are you? I, I am deeply ashamed. I never really. All right, get, go. Go. Just go. You're, you're done. You never really watched we Star Wars. Oh, my God. I, I, I don't know what to do. I... I I don't know how to handle this. I, I, I stormtrooper I, because I, of the cool armor. I, I thought you were I, about to say because they miss. No, because <laughs> of the cool armor. Oh, I yes. I mean, do you I have just a, go with the Do armor. you have like? Are we talking like a regular stormtrooper? I mean, or I've already lost you here. A snow yeah. trooper, all, all the ones with the the cool armor. Oh God, <laughs> he's killing me here. All right, I'm so sorry, I'm sorry, audience. I tried. I set him up. For my wife, mm, though, oh. Yoda. Is Yoda fan? Yes. No, That's no, why we so. have that in the background. I have a gold chrome Yoda Funko Pop. Wow. What is Shiny. that? It's a Funko Pop bobblehead, vinyl Bobble bobblehead heads. doll. Wow. Yeah, it's and gold. In, in gold chrome. Nice. <laughs> wow. The best kind. So, okay. <clears throat> if you're in... T I, know, I know this is blasphemous, but if your entire collection was lost in a tragedy, is there a single item in your collection... That you absolutely could not lose. Like that you grab before your wife if there was a fire. Yes. My wife was so organized. She was <laughs> on the door with the dog and car started before I even woke up. <laughs> <laughs> that is a very good answer. <laughs> so, collection wise, since I collect so many stuff, the one item I will definitely take with me if I can take anything else, it is the original model 1935. Uh, helmet issued to the World War II Chinese troop with the original insignia 
an absolute original super rare piece. Oh, wow. that's and cool. it has heritage meaning. So that item extraordinarily rare. It may not worth as much as the other items I have. Right. But is is that the value, the so significance? Do you both? Do you collect both from both? Do you collect from both sides of that conflict? Speak up. Do you do communist and Chiang Kai Shek's side, or is it just? Oh no, this is just World War One, World War One, World War Two. And that's it. Like so you, so you, so I, I don't. Side. But this is about modern. Well, it's a little yeah. modern. I mean, it's, yeah. it's 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 modern. I, I don't know. It's. Yeah. I hate to but say, this but is, this is you know, this is the kind of impression I have original stuff. That I don't wear. Obviously, I'm too fat to fit in the original stuff. <laughs> because the boys back in Vietnam, they were like 17, 18, you know, from the states. Oh, that's that's a callback to I think it was a it was a comment in the chat from Greg Brothers. He's not a foodie; he's a fatty. <laughs> or was that Steve Tom? Did you say that, Steve? Um, which Harsh. which Greg Brothers says he quits. <clears throat> no Star Wars. Good guy. <laughs> oh. <laughs> He's out. That was a salty comment to say. Well, I know, right? Say. That was very salty. Like, okay, I mean, Yoda. Need some water out. Yoda. <laughs> okay. So, is there a holy grail item that you are still chasing that you have not been able to get your hands on? Well, I could get my hands on. I just can't afford it. Oh, what's, what is <laughs> this? Ooh. It's a um, um, southern German uh, medieval armor head to toe complete set. Oh wow! Are we talking like like medieval? Original. Or are we talking medieval. like rent? Oh, original. Um, what is from like a that museum? Uh, about forty forty eight thousand. Okay, I can't okay. afford it. Wow. I, mean, I posted. I said, hey, should I should I do like Oof. a GoFundMe account? <laughs> That's what airsofters do, right? Do you, right. Go me. Do you need a? Do you, do, if you want a suit of armor in John Liu's house. Go fund me that shit. Like, yeah, set it up right, right now. <laughs> so, Southern German medieval suit of armor. I think that would more be a don't fund me more than a go fund me. <laughs> yeah. All right, let's move on from uh, collectibles and memorabilia. What made you to decide to publish your own book? The Ooh. Unlikely Yank. Um, it's, it's, it's called what? The Unlikely Yank. Okay, if you didn't understand it, The Unlikely Yank. As in, like, I'm, I'm translating for him because you might not understand his English. <laughs> so, yes. <laughs> it, uh, it started when my wife and I went and saw the movie Argo. Okay. Really? We really Whoa. enjoyed the movie because it was it got fictionalized, you know, to you know to make it fun. Mm -hmm. Because the actual CIA operation was obviously discreet, quiet, got done, get out. But if you do it that way, who's going to watch that? <laughs> so they, they fictionalized it, and it was great. I loved the adventures. When we walked so out of the movie theater, I was still like, man, I'm really pop. I really like the adventures. My wife looked at me and said, maybe you should write down your Tiananmen Square experience because the older you get, the more you're going to forget. Write it down. Whoa, 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 hold on. You were at Tiananmen Square? 1989. I was 25 years old. I was a tour guide. And I volunteer because my boss at the time said, John, don't worry about it. The students protest at Tiananmen Square all the time in China, which is true. If you understand the history of China, which I know most people don't, and don't care, and that's okay. It it's actually was common. They do protest outside of Tiananmen Square. Park. So my boss said, don't worry about it. It's going to blow over, right? I was 25. Many of you out there, you're young. When you're 25, you're invincible, right? I'm like, sure, I'll go. He's like, when you come back, I'll give you another Europe tour. And that's my bread and butter. Europe is where I make my money. I'm like, sure, I'll go. I mean, I understood when we go to China, we couldn't make a penny anyway. Because everything is government-owned, government-controlled. So I'm like, sure, I'll go. I'm just a glorified babysitter because when you arrive in China, there's a national guy who spoke so many dialects. Because China is so complicated. Dialects and languages. And then every town we went, we had a local guide. So I was just a glorified babysitter sitting there back to make sure everything is followed on the itinerary. Oh, yeah. Well, until we got to China. <laughs> so hold on, hold on. So you're re recounting your story of Tiananmen Square before, before you get old and, and forgetful. Yep. From, from the time you had that idea to the time it was released for print. How much? Two years. Two years. Now, is that all writing, or is that no. some of it writing and then editing? It was, you know, I mean, it was a concept. I mean, I took it as a joke. We laugh about it. And, and then I, one day I sat down and I wrote it down. And the more I wrote, the more it, it kind of hit me. 
And so I, I wrote a synopsis and that I showed to a few uh, movie industry friends, including one of our line calls old timer, Mr. Guy Ayel. But he's Mr. Composer Ayel these days. <laughs> yes. So, you know, we look at it and, yeah, so they looked at it, they go, dude, this needs to be a film. Because everything is so action packed and it's hour by hour recount. And so I met with a couple of producers, including this gentleman from Tel Aviv. We all sat down, we all chatted. He said, I want to know more about this character. Give me more about this character. And you're like, it's me. It's, I'm, I'm here. <laughs> yeah, so I, he's I like, it. so how does a 25-year-old kid have that kind of knowledge and subsequently negotiated their way out of China? Because for those of you who've been following news, you know, it's not particularly easy to no. get things done there. And those of you who've been there, you, you know the drill. So, Airsofters, that might be a, a bigger they, they They were like, he's like, so give me more about this, this John Liu. Where did he come from? When did he come to America? Where did all this knowledge come from? So that's when it got expanded into the unlikely Yank. Oh, wow. The original <clears throat> title was Five Days in China. Okay. Yeah. So uh, where can people find your book? Amazon. Yep. Just Amazon. Amazon. Just Amazon. Amazon. Do you have a Kindle? Take it yes. Just yes. like just like Disney. Yeah. Just Amazon. Amazon's everywhere. 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 Yeah. So, so real quick highlight reel. What what are they gonna find in the book? We got coming to America. Um, we got Tiananmen Square, obviously, because that's Tiananmen like, Square you know, is the final part of book one. Oh, the, this is a multi-book adventure. Uh, three book series, and the second okay. book is in the hands of uh, beta readers right now. So coming soon. What's wow. that? What's that called? Uh, that one. My working title is called the Pseudo American. Oh, I like that one. I like that a Pseudo American. Oh, it's like that was... song. But what was it? Phil Collins. <laughs> Studio. Studio. <laughs> is that prog rock? I don't. I don't but do prog rock. Pseudo as in. Studio. Oh, <laughs> Phil Collins. I'm with you. I'm with you. Okay. okay. All right. <laughs> but Airsoft comes in book three. So you, they. So. You, you, okay. Airsoft is in all the books. So you should check it out. You, you got to market this. Because right? like, oh, like they won't. Because if they just skip to book three, and they're like ah, and there's no airsoft. I mean, you're only going to sell book three. You got to sell one and two, and then three. It's very important. It's all about marketing. All right. So we're going to fast forward to book three. So, um, <laughs> well, if you watch the show, you know book three. Everybody wants to know how did things that weren't there. How did things go at Operation Irene at the Guardian Center in Perry, Georgia? Thumbs up, thumbs down. We had a great time. Um, my personal expectation was a little unrealistic, I'll be honest. My expectation was, I, from the get-go, and my staff knew this, and all my close airsoft uh, friends all knew this, I wanted to re recreate that Zussman experience. I learned from Guardian they could come close, but they could not be Zussman. Yeah. And I learned that, but I also learned these people are extremely professional. Um, they are very good at what they do. And we have, at the end of the weekend, we had a great relationship with them. Uh, one of the operations manager came in and just sat there and just chat with them and teaching me how to market the Guardian Center. So <laughs> are you guys welcome back? Is that, we, is, we is, are, are, is Lion Claws returning to the Guardian Center in 2020? <clears throat> right now, we're looking tentatively at the first weekend. Well, initially I post second weekend in May because I forgot that's Mother's Day. Dun, dun, dun. Yes. No go, right? Because we all know that you airsofters flame people if it's on Mother's, Mother's Day, Day or Father's Day. Even though you don't have parents and you're not a parent yourself. <laughs> That's okay. really fucked up. So we're looking at first weekend in May 2020, Operation Fallujah. Ooh, Ooh Fallujah. So it's going to be a new series. So uh, just a question, Fallujah, right? How, how, how are you guys approaching this? Because obviously you can't, like, blow up a bunch of buildings and then drive some tanks through a mm -hmm. berm and do all that. Like, so... What, we could. Just, somebody <laughs> just... Just sponsors will have to pay for it. <laughs> <laughs> or should I be rubbing uh, Rob Pierce over there? I think. Just, oh no, he's not. He, he doesn't hold the exposure button. The, the problem is you I have, you, I have control. You, you were rubbing buttons. too high. That was the problem. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. That's that's what. Yep. Yeah. was hard. Uh, my weakness: crispy pork buns. Ooh! Wow. We can have some of those right now. Really? Do you have them here? Well, not in Ontario. About okay. 45 minutes in the Monterey right. Park. Ooh. In 35 minutes, that's in Okay, so that's the show. Them. We're going for pork buns. See you guys. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, oh, we'll show pictures. <laughs> so is there, um, 
anything new that you're planning for 2020 that hasn't yet to be experienced at a Lion Claws event? Yes. Our first prison. <gasps> bum, bum, bum. Operation now, Castle. Now, do you get to be a prisoner? Yes. Now, is, is it one side the guards and one side the prisoners? Nope. Oh, okay. There's, we're going to have three sign-ups. You're going to have inmates. Now, inmates, you can sign up for a different faction because in real prison, inmates fight each other. So, so you got like AB versus like the like uh, what's another right like Blood game? versus Crave or yeah, MS like thirteen or whatever blood? right that sounds fun. so they have to fight for control of different buildings, and then they're the guards. But these are special operations Ooh. guards because there's a high value target within the prison. Ooh, Punk, this is the one we were talking about earlier. Yes, Punk. This Pay is attention. in Re- outside of Reno, Nevada. This is correct outside so, of Reno, Nevada, Northern California, Northern Nevada, Northern Nevada. So, yep. punk, that's what half a day's drive for you. And right. honestly, it's good training for your future. And then there's, <laughs> <laughs> and then there's cartel. There's a third force, a cartel. They're coming in to rescue their boss who was incarcerated. So in this isolation. is a true like multi fifteen. There's gonna be a bunch of facts. Like how are you gonna know who's we gonna? Who? Okay, okay. First of all, cartel, no Hawaiian shirt. No Hawaiian shirt. No, no tactical no. flannel. <laughs> This is this happening. is special operations cartel, not, <laughs> not your not your you know general cartel. So we are very careful. We understand prisons designed to keep people in. So movement, mm-hmm. it's, it could be a little bit of a challenge. So we're designing it very carefully. We're not going to pack people in. We could potentially do two separate events, two different weekends, to accommodate people who want to experience it. So you guys are going for player experience quality yes. over packing yes. people in. I yes. like to hear that. Yeah. So that's, that's what, what what else in 2020 <clears throat> that's new? Night Raid in Mojave. What? what? The, the night. tactical challenge in the Mojave? Night is Raid. Is going to be at night? Wait, yes. Wait, wait, was there a winner recently of, of your, your oh, tactical yeah. who, challenge? Who but, won wait, that Wait, you recently? had two tactical challenges this year, right? <laughs> yeah, and who won yes. You had one in a train in Paris, California. Yes. One in the 747 the Mojave. I what can't team? remember the name of what that. What was the name of that team again? It's something with a D, I think. I don't Is know. Is it? It's, what was the name uh, of the team? Team Vulcan won the Mojave Challenge. Disposable 2019. Heroes. Disposable, not Team Vulcan. The Disposable Heroes <laughs> sponsored <laughs> by Vulcan. Okay. The Disposable Heroes. <laughs> crushed it. They crushed it. You actually will get to see, if you're coming to Airsoft Con, um, six of their team members in our booth signing folks up for the Falcon Alliance. If you're coming this Saturday, sign up for Falcon Alliance from our booth. You can get an autograph. You'll, you'll get it. They're legends. They want everything. Free they are patch. the only team. You get a free patch. <laughs> they're the only team who actually carry that pregnant passenger off the plane uh, properly as in carry. They're the only team who did that. So no in miscarriage when she got down. No marriage. Okay, yeah. oh, we're good. <laughs> <laughs> you, you shook the pregnant lady too much. Like, was that was that was that, that was, the rating scale? Uh, you know, you see the look on their faces, even though some of these are real time cops or sheriffs. Mm-hmm. They move in, and when that role player drop and flop their stuff, screaming about she's her water broke, she's in labor. The guys just froze like. Oh, so you you brought the heat on this one? Oh, we have role yeah. players, uh, live role players inside planes and. And the captain, you know, and all that kind of good stuff. It was fun. Staff, the overachiever of the night, says hey, he's down for Operation Castle. Is he? Yep, he's down. All right, let's go. Road trip. Road trip, dude. <laughs> so, Done. Um, that's, like, that's actually like 10 hours from Colorado. So dude. for a player that has never attended a Lion Claws event, if you could just like 30 seconds or less, what would you tell them they can expect from attending an LC event? I like to think um, we focus on fun. Um, our thing is we we entertain to inspire. We're not there to tell you like, oh, we're hardcore bills home, take a train. Blah, blah, blah. Wait, do that again. <laughs> we entertain to inspire. <laughs> <laughs> so we want to keep it fun because at the end of the day, we're all playing soldier. And if it's not fun, why are you doing it? Yeah, one I- of the. Oh, Go ahead. Sorry. I actually wanted to share. I had a great moment at Lion Claw. This was your ago. first Lion Claw. It was my first Lion Claw. So I'm rolling with Cerberus. Hey, guys. Jersey. Cerberus, Cerberus Airsoft. Cerberus, Cerberus Airsoft. South they Jersey rock. Airsoft. South Jersey. <laughs> um, rolling with those guys. And we got stuck. And I think it was building like 21 on the bottom floor. And there's pyro going off. And rounds are coming in through both windows. And there's smoke everywhere. And there's track playing. And honestly, like, you guys nailed the feeling. Because you're just... I mean, the feelings are there at your event. It felt, it felt like I was back there, you know, in a lot of ways. It was cool, and you guys got that 
down. What, you know? One of the things I really appreciate is that you have brakes built into your event. And some of you may think, wait, you know, it's Milsim, you don't need brakes. But when you think about, okay, there's a lunch break from noon to two. Right. There's a dinner break from five to seven. Then there's the night game. What's important to understand is when you go, you know, continuous from like 9 a.m. to 8 p.m., we're out there playing dress up. There's some people that can't keep up with that. This guy. So people <laughs> will fall out because they're hungry, their gun breaks, whatever. But when you know that there's a there's a scheduled break, I really appreciate that because you know you could you can come off, you have time to so regroup. regroup or fix a broken mm -hmm. equipment I had or that something. Problem. You did. I, I had to swap out a gun and I didn't have magazines, so I needed to, I had, it was a brand new gun. I needed to go get magazines for it. I had to get a battery charged. And honestly, like, I, and I had to get a chrono too. So the lunch break gave me enough time to get all of that done, eat lunch, and join the game back again. It's great. I like it. It, it keeps players it. on the field continuously when it's actually game on. Because there's a lot of times where I've seen it at these longer events, um, and not the, I'm not saying they don't have a bad product. I'm just saying when a person gets to that somewhere between that, th you know, they've been playing since nine or ten o'clock. They get to about that three o'clock mark. Sneaker they just, time. <laughs> they just can't keep going. Yeah. You know, and when I mean it's economics when 80 percent of your player base is so exhausted. Yes, you still have the 20 percent that can go 24 hours, but. When the majority of your 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 customers can't keep going, built-in yeah. breaks is a good thing. Even Lion Claws 2020 will bring back a lunch break. We did two years with no lunch break. <laughs> this year in 2018, and we got feedback from both VIPs, and they were losing their troops. Yeah. When we kept going continuously. <laughs> Greg they were losing their troops. Greg Brothers says we run Milsim light, not hardcore camping in the suck. <laughs> <laughs> He yes, Air Force. Sir. He Air Force Milsim. <laughs> well, I, honestly, Greg Brothers, I still want to see a Warhammer-themed airsoft. Yes. Greg, now. make it happen. 40K, not, make not original it. Warhammer. 40K. <laughs> oh, sorry, 40K. I want Space Marines. I want Tyranids. I want chaos in your face. And I'm not talking about chaos. Oh, speaking in his face, chaos. people are signing up for Hellfire. Heavily on the Russian side mm -hmm. because Greg is going to be CO on the SOCOM side. Oh, so so people are like them? signing up on Russian side just to shoot him. <laughs> whatever gets whatever gets the ticket sold is what I say, honestly. So uh, for anyone that follows you on social media, um, you lead a very outgoing and and fulfilling life. Do you have any regrets? So far. Um, the only regret I have would be not being there when my father passed away. That's the only one. Thank yeah, you. I'd say that that's probably a pretty good sign if you only have one big regret. Like yeah, that. that's that's uh, a sign of a good life. Yeah, he. Um, you know, I mean, the doctor was supposed to call me when he's in ICU. They didn't call me because they live in Hawaii. And but when I when I found out, I went back, and it was a few hours too late. Uh, yeah. So, so but when you follow him, you can find he, he posts all his food. He's always <laughs> taking selfies with Trixie. Um, yes. Always having fun. Pitbull. Yes. And I have no idea what he's doing in this bathtub right here. <laughs> but it's surrounded. It's filled with gold coins. And he's, oh my god, you found that. Did he? <laughs> Are you Scrooge McDuck? What are right you there? doing? <laughs> he's he's being Scrooge. What are you doing? In, uh, yeah, that's right. You are Scrooge, <laughs> Scrooge McDuck. McDuck right now. He is swimming <laughs> in gold. I, for all of you didn't think Ducktales was real, screw you. Oh <laughs> my goodness. Oh my goodness. That's a oh, great that's rad, man. <laughs> I can't so, you found that. Speaking of what were you sure. doing? Uh, what's your? I mean, uh, I, I see you posting tons of food. What's your favorite job? Are you like? Uh, Japanese cuisine guy. I American like cuisine all guy. kinds of food. So there is not one animal? kind of food. I oh, it used to be a tour guy. I had to eat everything and anything because as a tour guy, it's not my vacation. Okay, so it's their vacation, and whatever country we're in, whatever they're eating, I have to. Even I mean, whether or not enjoy it, I have to make it like I'm joining us. Everybody else will enjoy it. So here's the follow up. What's the <laughs> weirdest or grossest thing you ever had to eat and oh, pretend yeah. to enjoy it? Yeah, that, that one I couldn't even pretend. It was my first trip to China. Uh, <laughs> in uh, southern China, 
in Stone Forest, Yunnan Province, which is just north of Vietnam. And that area, even for the Chinese, is very exotic and mysterious. We were up in the mountain, and they served this thing. I'm looking at it going, okay, that looks like somebody just washed your feet in it. <laughs> it smell like it, too. Probably was. I was like, what is that? All my tour members, everybody sat there looking at it going, John, what are we eating? I'm looking at my national guy. I'm going, what are we eating, man? <laughs> and my national guy, I mean, he's got, you know, government status, right? He's looking at it going, I don't know. <laughs> and he asked a local guy, what the hell is this? He said, like, oh, it's a local specialty soup with meatballs. Oh, okay. And we all look at it going, yeah, but it smelled like feet. What kind of meatballs were it? <laughs> I didn't see meatballs. I don't know what he's talking about. <laughs> that so was the most bizarre. It was like, like white bubbles in it, like dirty water white bubbles. Ooh, that's so, uh, so, so So that night, even though I'm, I'm not a drinker of alcohol, I had peanuts and beer for dinner that night. Well, because you had to <laughs> sterilize after eating that a little bit. Oh, I didn't clean. eat any of it. I was just going, <laughs> wow, I think I, think I hit a, uh, <laughs> hit a ceiling on my adventure. <laughs> oh. But that was a long time ago. That was 87. No. That was a long time ago. That was before it became civilized. Though. That was became China just ka ching ka ching ka ching because back then was anything we did, anything has to be approved mm -hmm. by the, uh, the government, everything, you know, it's itinerary, this and that. China now is like on crack. It's like, as long as you got money. It's, they they are the true capitalist, which is really scary. It, have, have they just embraced it hardcore, like, like, like just too far? They, they want what we had all these years. And the only funny thing about China is they believe, and the people in Hong Kong are the same, they believe the United States is a lawless utopia. You can do whatever you want. They must have come to Colorado. To Colorado. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Colorado, my alma mater, Denver you University. Just do whatever you in Colorado. Right? Do you? So, yeah, we're not going to even bring up the topic of why Lion Claws hasn't come to Colorado. That's a whole other conversation. I but, love Colorado. <laughs> do you? I love you. But we're going to cut to a quick commercial. We're going to take a tour of the EVIC uh, outpost here in Ontario. This place is rad. You're also going to get to see the restaurant arsenal and we oh. and we may show you battle lab a little bit we may maybe so battle lab is their indoor arena here in ontario that opens the grand opening is december 14th and 15th so you gotta you gotta check it out so we but, got the bunker the arsenal and then the lab where you put it all together kind of kind of like this way no? i don't know all right so <laughs> so <laughs> just roll with it we're gonna cut to a quick commercial and then we're gonna give you a live tour Taco, is all the everything? All the hardware is good Did to go. You clear. Okay. <laughs> all right. We're good. So we're gonna cut to a quick commercial. We'll be right back. <laughs> so this is Gunfire, and you are watching Balkan Debris. <laughs> The shortest path to your target is always a straight line. Be sure to check out Valken's full line of highly polished precision BBs made in Taiwan. The Valken Accelerate Pro Match BB is available now at your local Valken authorized dealer. All right, we we are back. Valken Debrief Airsoft Live Show episode number one hundred. The century one hundred. That makes us the most episodes of any airsoft show ever, right? No. No. Really? Really? Gorilla Airsoft Podcast. Don't, don't Gorilla know. Airsoft Shh. Podcast. Don't know. We, we, we do. We are. We do. We are. The one airsoft the one live show airsoft with the biggest live show budget. With the biggest, we have the most guys in costume budget. of most any guys airsoft budget. show there is. The biggest budget. Beat us. <laughs> Try it. Okay. All right. A little tour time? All right. Yeah, a little tour, tour time. time. So, yeah, uh, a little tour time. So, in the we're gonna, back room, are we good? Do we do the switch over? Everybody okay? Switch over. Everybody okay? All right. Here we go. So, all right, we're transitioning. Oh, you're gonna show up behind Done. the scenes. Hey guys, we're moving now. So, okay, don't trip. I oh, know. I gotta wait for him to go. It's, wait, the camera's moving. He might actually. I mean, this could be great if he actually gets something. So, <laughs> I'm digging this because this is kind of my first experience in a really like true airsoft store. I mean, how many? Have you, is this? Has this compared to stuff in Asia or stuff you've seen before? This this place is absolutely amazing. And we got, we got over here, we got a wall of scars, we got a wall of uh, G35s, 75 action. Yeah, we, I mean, maybe we got everything here. I mean, 
We got a yeah. whole case of grenades, different grenades, optics, machine guns, gas blowback, a G. If you need it, they got it right here. And I really want to show off something really rad because they have one of the coolest patch collections you're going to find in any airsoft store. Oh, so God. Look at that. Right over here. Look at that. Everything you could want. By the way, honey, this is coming home for you right here. A little Deadpool action. Deadpool monk. My personal favorite. <laughs> I'm not saying what Bob's is, because you might be partial to maybe a Stormtrooper. Maybe, I don't know. Hey, what, what are you looking at? Is there anything else? Um, I, yeah, gosh, look at all this stuff. It's, <laughs> it, 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 you can't just have one. You've got to have patches. multiple patches. patches. That's why you have like a patch panel. So yes. A patch area. Yes. Um, oh, we got more. Hi. Oh, there goes Maria. Oh, there goes Maria. Maria. Oh, Maria. Two people. Yes. So, so many cool charge. people, so many celebrities. If you're coming down here, right over here is your main point of contact. Taco right here is going to hook you up. Took care of us all day today. He is Mr. Eben. So on your left, moving up right here, we have this awesome shooting range. It is fully interactive. It can actually shoot the TV. We got a couple people in here throwing it down right now. Little live action shooting. Yep. Microphones on this. The, neat, the neatest thing about this this setup is that you can shoot the TV, and they are all your BBs are going to drop right in that bucket right there. I think you lost our guest. Did we lose? Oh, he's he's taking a selfie. We, we lost John. We just lost, we just John. lost John. Okay. We're, we're moving. We're moving. All right. Oh my gosh! I can't believe they just ditched me for food and beverage. So, you know what? I I guess that's it. That's that's the show. So, um, <laughs> because I'm hungry too, and I want to go check out what's going on and mingle with the masses. So, let us, let me take us out here. All right, everybody. It was a great show. Thank you. Thank you all for joining us. It was great. It was awesome. Falcon Debrief Airsoft Live Show. We're so happy to have 100 I'm going to go have some tacos and some beverages. See us next week. Uh, we'll be broadcasting from somewhere. So, everyone, have a good night. Laters. But there's only one guaranteed way you can have peace, and you can have it in the next second. Surrender. I didn't think you had it in you. I'm your huckleberry. We will not go quietly into the night. It is your killer instinct which must be harnessed if you expect to survive in combat. You want answers? I think I'm entitled. You want answers? I want the truth! You can't handle the truth! It's about how hard you can get hit and keep moving forward. They will be met with fire and fury like the world has never seen. Remember this day, man. It will be yours for all time. What keeps you awake at night? Nothing. I keep other people awake at night.